You don't need to see a broom to know this figure is a witch. TikToker The Void402 shares footage of a levitating witch in the middle of a deserted place. There isn't any information with this video, so I'm not sure where this was captured or by whom. But the closer the vehicle gets to the figure, the harder it is to deny that it's a witch. I'd be driving fast and far away before they end up cursed. This TikToker is wondering what this thing is. The creepy creature growls and leaps around the yard. Some in the comments are saying that the license plate suggests this was filmed in Malaysia. In that case, I agree it could be a Malaysian flying fox, or as many in the comments suggest, an exceptionally large bat, and it appears to be caught on something. No wonder it's so angry, and its screeching anger is leaving viewers shocked and confused. While walking home, Redditor 420 Esky Grimm wanted to make a creepy video, but when they watched it back later, they heard a creepy sound that they hadn't heard while filming. Listen closely. They succeeded at capturing creepy footage. The Redditor explains that the whining noise is from a garage door opening. But as for the strange breath slash gurgling sound at the very beginning of the clip, most in the comments think it came from the Redditor themselves, but the Redditor insists they didn't make the noise. Redditor Man and Macer has their own theory. I agree. If that truly wasn't them, the Redditor had better run, because angering whatever made that noise is something you should not attempt. What is this thing? An appendage? A plant root? TikToker Edo.NFSPA shares this creepy video, wondering if this is a cassava. Is this just a plant? Then why does it look like it's moving? I can't say for sure what it is, but I can say it's evoking bone-chilling fear in me. There's another world under the ocean, and in the Antarctica prohibited zone, that world is a complete mystery. TikToker Sleep With Horror shares this video of something mysterious and enormous in the water there. Some in the comments think it's a sea monster, others think it's an iceberg breaking apart or flipping over in the water. Even if it is just an iceberg flipping over,
in my opinion. That's terrifying enough, and I'd be on the next ship out of there. As lovable as this thing is, I don't want it as my pet. YouTuber Buckyot Channel shares this video of an unknown creature. The creature changes color as it moves across the surface. It looks like some sort of porcupine bug hybrid. I've never seen anything like it. Have you? If so, drop some knowledge in the comments. As much as I'd like to know what this is, just like every other video on this list, this one most likely can't be explained. How do demons exist on this earth? Just like anything, they are birthed. Shared by YouTube channel Cold TV and originally published by Life of Luxury, this video is trending in the Vietnamese-speaking YouTube community. The story begins with the Life of Luxury team arriving at a home where something evil is suspected of happening. As a welcome, they're served up some unappetizing cookies. There are your cookies, sweetie. Okay, can you please sit down now? I'm guessing they aren't welcome after all. When they go to sleep that night, a security camera captures this unsettling footage in Gloria's room. Gloria disappears, but then reappears, behaving very strangely. She's now wandering around, serving up this nightmare fuel. <laughs> now she's literally crawling up the walls. How can they sleep through this? I have no idea. They're finally awoken and things get 10 times more terrifying. <laughs> they go looking for her and what they find is chilling. She delivers the baby. That's most definitely a demon. <laughs> they follow the demon entity. What is it? Follow it. Okay. Look. The one in there. All right. Later, the patient returns. I've never been more grateful that this video is fictional. Nevertheless, this is pure terror, and I think it's going to give me nightmares forever. People online are wondering if this is a rock band full of zombies. Shared by YouTube channel EXTV, this video is currently trending in the Brazilian YouTube community. Watch her come to life. The act continues for several minutes. She grows more enraged by the music, but then seems to get rather into it.
If you're worried about your brains being eaten, never fear. The Walking Dead is not among us, at least not in this case. I tracked down the original source to the Instagram account of horror artist Corey Deanne Cowley. Well, I guess this mystery is solved. That won't help with my nightmares. Although this is a stage performance, I think most of us will admit that real zombies wouldn't be a welcome addition to a heavy metal concert, no matter how emo we are. A horrifying event happened in this home. Three sisters all had their lives taken here, and ever since, it has been abandoned and haunted. YouTube team Ming's Paranormal investigates the abandoned house. One YouTuber hears a whistle during the home tour. Did you hear it? Here it is again. In another instance, this mysterious orb descends from above, disappearing halfway across the screen. That doesn't look like your average dust particle. Do the souls of the three sisters still linger in this abandoned house? I definitely think the team should spend more time here to see if they can make further contact. But personally, I don't think I'd have the guts to step foot in this place. This mythical creature looks like a cross between a mythical fairy and a troll to me. Shared by YouTuber Darcy's Tops, this image is trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The original source of the image is unknown. While Darcy's top shares the photo capture in a compilation of duendes or elves, it's hard to tell what this creature is exactly. To me, the crouching creature looks like Gollum with wings, but the wing-like appendages could be the rock outcropping behind the creature. It's hard to tell. What do you think it is? If you know more about this image or its source, please share it in the comments. Together, let's get to the bottom of this mystery. Update. When I was reviewing this video before uploading, I think I did recognize the origin of this image. I think this might be from the Erwin Saunders video, We Found a Wild Goblin. Here they are side by side. Do you think this is the origin of that image? I think there's a very good chance of that being the case. After receiving a motion alarm on their cabin's porch camera, Redditor Into the Dark W Me reviewed the footage and noticed this. A black mist drifts out of the cabin. A moment later, it looks like a bright light turns on straight ahead toward the woods. The Redditor says there is no street lamp or any other type of bright lights on the property. They ask Reddit for an explanation, and they offer some. Many disagree with the bug theory and say it looks like smoke. Maybe it's a swarm of bugs? But the bright light has me considering extraterrestrials. What do you think is going on here? After setting up a security camera in their home, TikToker Flat7Ghost captures some activity that can't be explained. Watch the set of drawers in the background. Okay. Um, well, it's The top one opens without explanation. Here it is again up close. It would be interesting to know if this is a common occurrence with this drawer. If it is, it could be that the drawer isn't level. I'd have to see more evidence to be convinced of paranormal activity here. This spirit must have a presentation coming up. Redditor ZJOSA shares this video, which they say happened to a close friend while working late. Desde 
No mami. The chair spins on its own. Many in the comments are skeptical and wonder why the woman started recording in the first place, but the Redditor has an answer for it. Many others say her fearful reaction seems legit. I don't want to dismiss this too quickly because I agree that her reaction seems real. I'm going to reserve judgment on this one. Which side are you on here? Imagine singing the world's creepiest song while riding down a hundred year old elevator in a haunted hospital. Well, you don't have to imagine it. TikToker Dref David TV shares this video of just such a fearless thrill seeker. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the... The guy shuts himself in and rides it down, and many in the comments are awestruck. Won't be a stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle. Illusion or not, if I wasn't afraid of the ghosts, I'd at least have some fear to spare for that elevator. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hunting the Haunted, this redditor wrote, Demonic voice at abandoned insane asylum. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. <laughs> there was certainly some discussion about this video in the comments. Paranormal Psychic wrote, if this is actually real, this is probably the clearest EVP possibly ever. While Shuddering Shannon wrote, it said, go grab the camera, in a mischievous child's voice. Did you hear the demonic voice? If so, what do you think it said? Let me know in the comments. The ancient Ram Inn is notorious for being the site of ritual sacrifice and devil worship. The YouTube team from Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations returns to the haunted place to see what they can uncover. Inside, they hear children's voices. Whether it's moved this table, which is in front of us, As the crew leaves the witch's room, a steady cam captures the sound of running. That was unmistakable. After questioning a spirit, they hear this chilling laughter. Inside this room, Shortly after, in that same room, a steady cam also captures the sound of furniture being moved. Many paranormal teams have investigated the ancient Ram Inn and encountered similar activity. I believe this footage adds to the mounting collection of evidence that something dark and scary occurred in this place. So dark that it will never leave. After the residents of this manor kept experiencing paranormal activity, YouTube team Exploring with Fighters was invited here to investigate. Dan initiates the investigation by informing the spirits about the paranormal devices being used. He invites them to communicate with the team, and they do. There's also something behind that door in the bathroom. If you go near it, oh, it will go off and let us know that you're here. Thank you. They hear another device go off in a separate room. Oh, REM pod's going off. No one's in there as well. This spirit seems to have stage fright. Still, he triggers the REM pod again. I'm just gonna go and grab my other camera. Yeah. Oh! oh. REM pod's going off. Oh, wicked. 
What's up? Oh, oh, sure. This time it goes off for an extended period of time, and then it seems the spirit moves into the bathroom. What the f What is that? Oh, that was the thingy. Movement sensor in the bathroom. Really? Whoa! Was that was Hold on a second. Look. It's, it's just died. But the triggered devices aren't the only evidence the team leaves with. They also take these mysterious Polaroids. A second Polaroid captures more spirit figures in the window panes. What do you think of these captures? Well, I can see what the team sees. I think that could just be our collective minds playing tricks on us. But considering all the activity triggered on the paranormal devices in this old manor house, I also tend to believe that something is here. Whether it's the Mad Monk or not is anyone's guess. Jump in the DeLorean and go back to this 90s home stuck in time. YouTuber Ranger Rick TV visits the abandoned place where a homeowner passed away, leaving everything behind. Behind. The calendar is left on the date she passed away. And we have a calendar date, so this tells me that whoever last passed away in this house was on April 1992. Wow, that is old. Behind the wall of one room lies a mystery, unsolved. It makes me really curious about this wall right here. Let me light it up so you can see what I'm seeing. It looks like. This was part of, well, this is the wall right here, but why do they have this little cutout right here? Something makes me think. The main bedroom is left in disarray. And then we walk into this room right here. But the room where the homeowner passed away has been left untouched, and for good reason. This is probably my favorite room in the whole house for obvious reasons, just because it's like the main room. I already told you the backstory on this place, and yep, this is where the lady passed away. The poor woman likely passed away alone, and her body wasn't discovered for a long time. Such a sad story, and one I won't be able to forget for a long time coming. According to the YouTube team, Causa Sobrenatural, they've never been more afraid in their lives than on this night. As they enter this abandoned home, they hear steps coming up the stairs. Está só gravando. Escutou? The team investigates further, and that's when they hear this. Ah, tomando teu cu. Vou embora de cá. Você escutou isso? Não escutei. Meu Deus! Ela cantou a Lula em cima. What was that? It sounds like either a human voice or an instrument to me, but whose? I understand why this would strike fear in the team. Something is present, and it's uncertain whether or not it's even human. If I were there, I'd be getting out of this home ASAP. YouTube team Paranormal Crew is comparing their paranormal catch to a similar anomaly captured by the channel Ghost Adventures. See for yourself. <laughs> The team is intrigued by this strange orb that floats past, eventually disappearing into one of their crew members. What do you think of this thing? Paranormal Crew thinks it looks similar to this one captured by Ghost Adventures. Připravení. Pokaždé mě z toho mrazí, protože je to volně letící zjevení, které je 
It does look oddly similar to me. It would be even more intriguing if it was captured at the same haunted place, but it looks like these are different locations. Although I'm tempted to say, considering how run down these haunts are, this is probably just dust or debris floating past. I am also tempted to believe it's spiritual energy. It's not often that the police show up during a ghost hunt. YouTube team Exploring with Fighters was exploring this abandoned school when they ran into some trouble. As they wander the halls, they see stuff has been scattered everywhere. Then they hear they're not alone. Should they leave? As they try to decide what to do, it's clear they're tripping over themselves. They're trying to exit through the window. After succeeding, they call the cops. The police show up and are ready to search the place. Oh, they've got him. They've got him. Were the people inside just squatters, or were they up to something more nefarious? Oh, the fun now, boys. Yeah. They head home for the night, and 24 hours later re-enter the school. You'd think they'd be alone this time, but then this happens. Did they really see someone in this haunted school? If so, where did they go? I think they witnessed a spirit squatter rather than human squatters this time. YouTuber Ali H is haunted by a demonic entity, and he finally caught her on camera at 3 a.m. After waking to a closet door rattling and lights flickering, Ali gets up to take a look. What the f huh. The spirit has put on a record. It seems that she's throwing a party. What the Stop it! But there's no one downstairs. As he continues through the house, the record player turns on again. What do you want? The music crescendos once more. Stop! Oh my God. Using a Kinect app, Ali takes a look in the room, and there it stands. Ow. What was that? I just I just got shocked by my phone and it just got much colder in here. He can't believe what he's seeing. Holy f can you guys see that? You can even see the shadow. 
You can see the dark figure there too. What the f Can you guys see that? Like, you guys can see that figure too, right? Am I crazy? It's literally, am I not? not? But there you have it, right before your eyes. Has this been what's tormenting Ali and his partner? I believe that's exactly who's standing before them. But I think they'll have to dig further to find out why she won't let them sleep. Do you have the guts to spend a night in one of the most notoriously haunted houses in the world? YouTube team Ghost Trip Investigation does, and they prove it by passing a scary event in The Conjuring House. Inside, their paranormal devices quickly capture some readings. Faulty. They don't just randomly go off. You can't clap. There's no remote. They have to physically. Can you now set that off sense, again? Physically sense movement, guys. Oh. Shortly after, something is knocked down, but I failed to see what it is. That was knocked down. That's the first time Slime has ever done it. That was knocked down. Bet you've got to be literally touching it. No, really. Yeah. One of the devices is sensing energy, and it turns out to be strong. Please, energy close. It's not down. That is not down. That is trying. It won't let me get near it. Get near it. Won't let you get near it. Using a spirit box, they ask the demon some questions. <gasps> that whispered it. It whispered it. Yeah. No. One million percent. Just let it play. It said it. It does sound like it says conjuring there. Later, it's trying to get in. Trying to get in. Trying to get in. Trying People trying said to. trying to get in. Trying to get in. Okay. Here you go. Open the door. <laughs> They've opened the door. Did they just open the door to a demon? They walk around outside, and for a moment, it sounds like someone is chasing them. Whoa! What was it? Something loud, mate. Mate. Back inside, they break out a Ouija board, and it only draws the spirits in closer. Yeah. It's like the top of the table's twisting off its base. The bear, the bear, the bear, the bear, the bear, the bear, the bear. Shortly after, this happens. Me, mate, I don't like this. Slowly take one hand off, Dan. Slowly take one hand off. Back off. Did you capture that? Wow. This Did you actually for, capture that? Yeah, this isn't for me. Well, that last bit could be explained by an uneven table leg. I'm not so sure about the rest of it. I think this house has a reputation for a reason. The team from YouTube channel Proving Demons is proving it again by meeting the devil himself in this scary video. While in this haunted prison, they are given a demonic message that sounds more like nagging. Later, they hear some noises in the dark hallways. What's that horrible noise? That's me, sorry. Sounds like machinery going off. As they're listening intently to the screechy sounds they're hearing in the distance, a door opens much closer to home. Yo, that door just opened. Oh, that door just f***ing opened. That door just opened. Really? Yeah. It was closed two seconds ago. And it just opened. They again hear a distant scream. What the f***? What was that? You just hear the screaming? The guy yelling? Although I didn't hear it myself, the next bit is plain as day. Can you open that window again? Look, oh my. It was like that bit came right And that was actually last as well. Yeah. Look, oh my. Close it. There is no wind in here at all. 
They continued to explore and hear a door slam, but unfortunately didn't have their cameras on to catch it. But then... That was another door and I wasn't even filming. Please, slam another door for us. I came from over here. That. <gasps> Holy the doors and windows are opening and shutting everywhere in this prison. My theory is that the souls of former prisoners are trying to escape, but it looks like their life sentences are continuing into the afterlife. Located in Philadelphia, Fort Mifflin is known for its role in the Revolutionary and Civil Wars, and considering this history, it's also said to be haunted. YouTuber Katrina Weidman and her team head there to investigate. Using a photon camera built by Zach, who's an electrical engineer, the team captures movement and sounds inside the fort. This occurred in the powder magazine. The team says no one was near the place at the time this was captured. A little later, Zach is running a thermal camera outside where he captures this. I just hear it a scream. I don't think that was the girls. I don't know if this is recording audio, but I just heard a scream. When the team is later all together again, they get a spark on the Tesla coil. Hey, can you touch the uh, Tesla coil for the, the thing that's making some noise in the middle of the room? Sparking again. Yeah, I heard that. I don't know if I see it, but I hear it. Was this where you stayed during solitary confinement? To me, this seems like solid evidence to suggest that Fort Mifflin is indeed haunted, and it sounds to me like a former prisoner here continues to live out his afterlife in solitary confinement. Here's a true horror story for you. Jane and Bob Derotic lived on a horse ranch called Caspian Stables. Bob Derotic turned up lifeless one day, and Jane was the prime suspect. But to this day, the mystery of who ended Bob's life remains unsolved. YouTube team Mackie and Amanda head to Caspian Stables to try and get to the bottom of this dark case. Their investigation is chill-inducing straight away. Really? Like they're talking to horses, basically? And to put us all more on edge, they hear a scream. What the f was that? That was a scream. Using some dousing rods, they get some answers. Are you a male? <gasps> that was the fastest one yet. Straighten them back out and we'll ask the next question. But this doesn't seem enough to confirm any theories. As they get ready to leave the creepy horse ranch, they give the spirit one last opening. This is your, I guess your last chance to talk to us right here. What did it say? Can you say that again? Is there anything else you want to say? She's evil. That's what it sounds like. She's evil. Who's evil? I think we can guess but I don't want to point fingers based on paranormal data. Mornhill Camp served as a transit point for troops on the Western Front during World War I. The YouTube team Ghost Theory investigates this haunted officer's house. A steady cam that they set up in one of the rooms starts to move. You can also hear strange, unexplained noises in the background. Then later, they capture a man's scream. There's clicking.
One viewer also points out this strange mist or dust that seems to shift across the room. We have so many questions. And we've heard you before, so we know that you're here and you can do this. Is the officer lurking about? I believe that's his scream. And I don't know if I want to know what caused it. Imagine getting a notification on your phone only to find this footage. The YouTube team Haunted Real Estate Investigations shares this video captured on a security camera. The homeowners had just moved in six months prior. Granted, the angle at which this footage is taken could allow a whole human to hide just out of sight, but the way the cupboards open and close doesn't really look human to me. Is this family dealing with a hungry ghost? I'd like to see more footage before drawing a conclusion. And until then, if I were the residents of this home, I wouldn't raid the pantry at midnight. This is a reminder never to do Randonautica solo. YouTuber exploring with Angelo is led into the dark forest where he finds this creepy arrangement of cryptic stuff. As he looks through it, he feels something watching him. For some reason, I thought there was going to be something behind that. They are all victims in place this. I see them all day long. My head, it hurts. And soon he knows it. Oh, jeez, he's right there. Now Angelo is watching him. but he still has no clearer idea as to what this figure is doing. But the man has something to be concerned about. So Angelo knows he has to escape before it's too late. Is this man really wanting to end lives, or is he just practicing his axe throwing? I think Angelo was right to flee instead of sticking around to find out. After all, it's better to be safe than sorry. Their spirits abound in this sea of lost souls. YouTuber Franco TV investigates cemeteries around the world, and in this one, he captures clear footage of a spirit. But still no sign. This is one of the most convincing full-bodied apparitions I've ever seen. Here's a closer look. But still no sign. What the f was that? And that's not the only creepy thing Franco encounters in this cemetery. What is this hooded figure doing here? And are the two captures related? My theory is that this hooded man is a cult member, drawing up the spirits from their graves. What do you think is happening here? This scary video is, for sure, causing panic among viewers. Something went down in this condominium lobby, and the ghosts have remained here ever since. Redditor Mr. Top Stallion shares this security footage of the mysterious happenings at a luxury condominium in Florida. Hello. 
The Redditor says they've seen translucent figures in all three buildings of this condominium. But Redditors in the comments think this can be explained with some saying it's a temperature differential, others a glass flaw shatter, and still others a hot spot due to the light above. Regardless of these naysayers, considering the history of this place, I think it's a poltergeist's doing. Did YouTuber Jordan Paragoud experience something supernatural? It certainly seems like the crew came across an active one inside this haunted home. <laughs> The sounds are just the beginning. In the next clip captured, Jordan appears to have been overcome by something. Was he possessed? He's definitely not all there. Although he can't say what he felt in that moment, he says he thinks it could have been intense fatigue due to this being a multi-day investigation with little sleep. Whatever overwhelmed him, this strange behavior along with the scary bumps in the night suggests to me that there's something more going on in this castle than what meets the eye. The yellow murder house is as haunted as they come. YouTuber Carlos the Fam and his team are here to investigate, and they quickly grow panicked. Alright guys, this is crazy. I'm starting to see eyes and bunnies running around out here on the outside. What the f I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. His crew is frightened by something, but we don't see what. Though the house is highly unsettling, they continue in their solo explorations. That's when Carlos hears this. This is where I get the most energy. The most... Something tapped over there. Scared the heck out of me. In the area where he feels the darkest energy, Carlos finds a circle on the ground. What's this? See the circle, guys? Is someone doing something here? Were they doing like a pentagram or something? My guess would be yes. This must be ritualistic. Maybe a salt circle produced for protection? I can feel it through the screen. There is something in here that needs protecting from. A tragic accident left Kelmarsh's tunnel of despair closed down to public access. But YouTuber Rob with Scooby Scooby is there to view it. Certainly a lot more sketchier than the first one with the public access that we walk through. Always good to find an open door. He lets himself in and enters the tunnel of despair. Inside, he explains that a woman had her life taken and is believed to haunt this tunnel. It's believed that she haunts these tunnels the Kelmarsh tunnels, as well as the Oxygen tunnels, the down tunnel of the Kelmarsh tunnel, she haunts here. She is believed to be stuck here in the afterlife forevermore. Is this woman's spirit destined to stalk up and down this tunnel for eternity? Side of that, I really don't know. But I said, the story I've told you about Mrs. Cook is factual to what I believe. Whether she purely got her legs run over, she hit the bridge first, so she was dead before it even happened. All I have to say is, walk toward the light. This very scary location does not disappoint. YouTuber Tim Morozov faces off with the most terrible demon. First he hears him walking around, but he doesn't encounter anyone. Leaving a camera in this creepy room, Tim captures something terrifying.
He receives a cry for help and goes to the spirit's aid. But when he does, he finds the demon has escaped. A moment later, the footsteps vanish. Where did the demon go? Is it going to take Tim with him? I don't know what's more disturbing. The footprints or this putrid bath called the Real Exorcist House. The Hinsdale House has been explored by a laundry list of paranormal professionals. Add YouTuber exploring with Angelo to that list. While using a Ouija board with Jasco, they land on a message they don't want to receive. Z A L. Something oh like no 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 no! Put this what? to goodbye. Goodbye. What does that mean? Oh no no I no no! no. What, that, what does that mean? A Z A I I get it now. A Z A Z E L Azazel Azazel. Oh. A demon. Oh. A moment later, Angelo starts feeling lightheaded, while Jasco starts feeling something else. Yo. Really lightheaded all of a sudden. What's going on? Dude, it literally feels like something is just holding my arm right now. Like Dude, your hairs are like standing Dude. up. Look at that. It literally. What the hell? It's like bro, static. Look at look at my. It, it, you could literally see a mark yeah. like something literally around my hand right now. The tingling lasts for a long time, and Jasko thinks a change of scenery will help. Okay, yeah, I need, I'm gonna go outside. Yeah, here. Uh, probably for the best. Holy cow, dude. Did a demon just enter and try to hold Jasko's hand? If so, I don't think Jasko should allow himself to be led anywhere. Azazel only wants one thing to steal his soul. Be careful, a witch is out and about. YouTuber Nikolai from Seeker of Ghosts is making his way through these dark woods when he spots a glowing light. He circles around and captures the glow again. He gets closer and says it looks like a woman. Is it a witch? It's looking more and more like that's the case. After she leaves, Nikolai approaches where she was doing her ritual and finds this. <laughs> Looks like voodoo to me. As Nikolai examines it, the witch approaches. He escapes, but just barely. I hope the witch doesn't find a little Nikolai shaped voodoo doll, or he may be next. This five bedroom bungalow is believed to be haunted, and frankly, after seeing this, I believe it. YouTube team Ghosts on Trent explores the place, and as they do, some hear a woman singing. Listen closely. Did you hear it? Later, they think they hear someone coming inside.
When they go to check it out, they find nothing. That could have been the door. Just, just, just push that door lightly more. It's the door, is it? I think it's the door. That could have just been the wind. The team asks for a noise, and they receive one. If you can see us, would it be possible you could make some kind of noise? Any kind of noise will do. And later, they hear another subdued sound. While these sounds are awfully quiet, how do you explain them? I have an awful feeling about this place. To me, the singing at the beginning is particularly haunting. In this abandoned place, the gin is at full force, and YouTuber Hassan Barbar encounters his terrible presence. It begins with the slamming of a door. <laughs> The search continues, and the jinn grows more aggressive. And he's around every corner. Although Hassan searches the whole place, he only captures a glimpse of the jinn. Where is the jinn hiding? Maybe that's best left unanswered. I don't think I'd want to find him. A builder dug through too deep by accident and discovered a hidden world, a Victorian street that was kept secret for over a century. YouTuber Adam Mark Explores and his team explore this underground and investigates the ghosts that live there. He asks questions and he gets some answers. Did you live here as well? Mate, that was eerily on cue, wasn't it? Yeah, but we kind of got... And then, a moment later, this happens. I shouldn't be dead. Can you tell us what happened to you? Why are you dead? What? I'm sorry, I'm shuffling noise. Through that. I, I stare back. Hmm. What's staring back at them? Shortly after, they hear a distinct noise. We appreciate the energy that it takes. We know it's not easy for you. Could you please set that device off again? Mate, what was that? That was loud. They go to check it out, but find no one there. Let's go. Let's go check. That was too loud to be. Hello? That was almost like something being thrown. Yeah. Later, they hear knocking again, and this time it's even more distinct. Mate, just we'll stay away from that music box just so it, it can't confuse us. With her. What the f is that? With her. What was that? They're soon given an answer. Honestly. What was that? <laughs> Three spirits. Three okay. spirits, man. Mate, what was that noise? Three spirits are here watching and I'm sure their goal is to give us all heart attacks. An old woman is said to haunt the village of Arai, and YouTuber Han Kardashler and his team are here to investigate. As they set out to explore, they hear strange noises in the thick fog. <laughs> There was a figure down that road, but it could simply be a person. 
still, it looks creepy to me. And that's made even creepier when the cameraman later sees an old woman behind him. <laughs> They return to the haunted village at night, and through the window of this haunted house, they see an old lady. Is it the old lady? The guys think this woman is alone in here, talking to herself, but I see another woman sitting next to her. If this place is supposed to be abandoned, then it's creepy that these women are hosting some sort of gathering here. But otherwise, I think the guy should continue looking for their old lady ghost. This extraterrestrial sighting in Las Vegas is shocking the internet. Shared by YouTuber Black Collar Project, the guy in the video says he saw a thin creature standing about 8 to 10 feet tall in his backyard. He called his dad, and this is what they captured on camera. <laughs> Here's a closer look. What is that thing? Some in the comments are believers, while others have their reservations. Script or not, I believe him. You can hear real fear in their voices, and their reaction seems legit. This extraterrestrial is here on a mission, and I hope it's not to destroy us all. Can you escape this escape room ghost? YouTube team Ghost Club Paranormal and friends are investigating a Los Angeles-based escape room called The Basement that's been experiencing some serious paranormal activity. Just as Jade is introducing the group, a loud bang resounds in the distance. Um, Whoa, what was again. that again? Hello? Hello? The team later finds a doll in the middle of the room that none of them saw there before. Wait, what? What? You know what? That's the I first thing I, 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 I look at. Wait, this, wait, it uh, wasn't there. I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It I wasn't. looked at that. That's the first There's thing I noticed. There's supposed to be in there. Later, they hear a noise above them. Whoa. I'm so on edge. I know, me too. I feel like I'm in like a real life Scooby-Doo scenario now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kelsey Davies and her team capture an EVP on camera in the next room. Over here. Oh. Mm -hmm. And later, both Kelsey and Jade see the same entity. I swear to God, when we came out, I thought I saw like the back of somebody's... Yeah, like running. No, I swear to God, I thought I saw the back of somebody's leg, just yeah, like yeah. that, right behind the door. Was it black, like a shadow? Yeah, it was yeah. literally... Is someone in here, playing around with them? Or is there truly something paranormal in this escape room? Whatever's happening in this scary place, I honestly hope they can escape from it. Located in the UK, Taxel Lodge is reputed to have paranormal activity. YouTuber Moxley's Paranormal World says what they witnessed here left them terrified. Inside, they quickly start to feel uneasy. That's the sort of feelings this place is giving off. It's like... I could have sworn I heard something there. Right, I swear, I've just seen something out that doorway just there. Is their paranoia getting the better of them? Mox says he saw something in the second floor window, and viewers are seeing a shadow figure peering down at them. There's no upstairs there. I see it too, but there could be something up there casting this shadow. It's hard to tell. 
Later, when Mox hears a voice, he asks the spirits if it was theirs, and they answer. Whose voice did I just hear then? There's no flaws there. Yeah. Many in the comments think the disembodied voice said, Mine. Is this the voice of the shadow figure we saw earlier? This place is giving off creepy vibes for days, so I wouldn't doubt it. While in this haunted hotel of horrors, YouTube team Paranormal Quest gets what they came for, history and horror. This 19th century hotel in the Wild West was home to a hidden business on the upper floor, and now it's home to ghosts. Pretty soon, they start hearing things. Honor, come down here for a second. We'll have, we'll I have just you. heard something over here, though. It could be the wind outside, but there is like a like one little noise over here. Let's see if the mic caught anything. There's definitely something there. The guys feel cold spots in one of the hallways. It's got real cold right here, right? It did. Yeah, it was not nearly this cold right no, here. No, it's like freezing right over here. Yeah. I don't see how there could be a giraffe right now. Using a device to speak to the spirits, they receive confirmation that there's evil here. Here in my hand. Demon. Even more unsettling messages follow. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me? Did you say doom? Purgatory. What? Is it doom of purgatory? Not satisfied with just speaking, the spirits start touching them. Whoa. What? <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> still my. My. Oh my. My sweatshirt just got tugged. What? From behind. Yeah, my sweatshirt got tugged. <laughs> Are the guys just feeling a touch of nerves in this spooky place? I doubt it's just that, and I do think this tour turned up enough paranormal evidence to warrant further investigation. This Tennessee hospital is said to be one of the most haunted in America. The Paranormal Files team are here to investigate in this scary video posted to their official YouTube channel. They get a reading right away on several of their paranormal devices. Are you filming? Yeah. Got on the static. Jesus. Back here. Look at, look at the wall back here. God damn it. This is just a static while we're okay. setting up. Okay. They ask the spirits to give them time to set up, but they're too eager to communicate. Farther away. We're just getting set up. If you would please, then we can come and talk with you. Please step away. The team introduces themselves to the spirits, and they respond in kind. I'm here with my dad. Jeff. Someone coming in? You can all come and join us. Why is the music not going? As they try to figure out why the music from the music box isn't playing, something unseen enters the fray. I don't know, what the f It was just going... Oh! Oh, there's a proximity meter right there. Somebody just came out of that room, so you can see. The spirit seems to have migrated over to the cot in the patient room. Yeah, I can see you starting to touch that little flashlight. You probably know what a flashlight is. Later, they hear movement. Could you knock on some? Whoa. That right there. Right there again. Okay, so now, Colin, what does that mean? It means that there's somebody that just came out of that room. And more movement is heard shortly after. If you're on the cot there, can you play with that little red light? Make that go off for us, please. The team asks the spirits to show themselves, and they respond. Tools that'll show us where you are. 
you've touched pretty much all of them. I know you know how to use them. Can you do it one more time? They then hear a disembodied voice. Look at this one. Oh, there was like a. Ooh. On a different floor, they hear yet another unexplained voice. Yeah. And shortly after, unsettling noises are heard. They speak to the spirits using an app and find out they're much nearer than they could ever imagine. Oh, yes. Oh my god, this right here, right in front of me. Don't tell about our visit. Again, they hear a noise. An attempt to speak to legendary nurse Joanna gets shut down quickly. The Paranormal Files team have captured enough paranormal activity to put me off visiting the old Harriman Hospital. It seems to me that there's multiple lost souls roaming the halls, and it seems to me that they need healing, even in the afterlife. The YouTube team Ghosts on Trent investigate a secluded 18th century farmhouse known as the Chainsaw House, and the house does not want them there. Right, so. We've set up a stationary camera downstairs in the main hallway. We've got a REM pod and K2 down there, so if they go off, the camera will pick it up. When Paul asks the spirit to make noise, you can see the lamp swinging overhead. Could you please make any kind of noise? Was that just their own disturbance? Or a ghost's? Later, as they're looking upstairs, you can hear something briefly. It sounds like footsteps to me. Do you hear them too? I don't know if these are just ambient noises or spirits, but this place sure gives me the chills. And that's not just due to its nickname. YouTuber Sylvia C has arguably one of the most active poltergeists on YouTube. Here's some of her latest footage, captured in the kitchen. Not only does the poltergeist throw lids and open cupboard doors, but it also messes with the trash bin. Imagine trying to get some sleep with all this racket. For a moment, it's calm, and then this happens. And for the grand finale, What's this spirit cooking? Fear? I don't know how Sylvia does it. I would have left this home yesterday. Don't take your chances with this haunted place. It's home to a demon. YouTube team Toppy do take the risk, and they soon hear voices not far off. They think these voices are coming from outside.
but this paranormal activity makes me think otherwise. A steady cam captures this in an empty room. I even hear some taps after the door opens, but it's what happens later that really convinces me. They hear footsteps in the snow, and then this happens. Something is heard right behind them, but they're on the second floor. Even after falling out of his chair, he asks for another sign. Something is knocking on the window, and I must reiterate, they're on the second floor, so who could it be? Like I said, I'm more than convinced that this place is haunted, and if they aren't careful, the demon will soon be coming for them. This chilling birthday footage will have you blowing out the candles. Shared by Redditor Calligram to the Chills Narrator subreddit, the video shows what appears to be a fun children's birthday party, complete with Mardi Gras masks. But for some reason, this is where the video breaks down. And what happens next is terrifying. Sounds to me like the party is over, and whatever's unfolding now is clearly about to get very bad. When dealing with ghosts, paranormal investigators should take care not to bring something home with them. YouTuber Chris L. Luna has, and now she isn't sure how to get rid of it. Ahorita que estaba aquí sentada, trabajando, vuelvo a escuchar ruidos muy extraños detrás de mí cuando no hay absolutamente nadie. She explains that she's been ignoring the noises she hears in her home, but at the moment, she's heard many behind her, and there's no one home but her. After showing viewers her empty house, she hears this. The growl sounds like it's very near. like right next to her. I think this would be the end of the paranormal investigation for me. Once you bring an attachment like this home, the love for your job has gotta fade. Some places are so thoroughly haunted that they trap you. YouTuber DDoc Michael discovers what trapped him in this scary video. Inside, he hears something being dragged. While searching the place, he becomes frightened, and the spirits want to play ball. Oh, ah! He approaches the bathroom again. Something is in there. He decides to face it. Oh. 
I don't think it's the wind. He re-enters the bathroom and you can hear some subtle noise. The demon has escaped and then it traps him. Will Michael get out of this place alive? Well, he must have. And here's the proof. This video that's leaving viewers terrified all night. YouTuber Ali H lives in a house haunted by ghosts. He and his partner plan to move, but will the ghosts let them? Um, I was standing here. That was on there. Like it was, it was up in, in the cupboard there. Flew off the cupboards opened up and the box broke and, and look who's in the box. Maybe she doesn't want him to remodel the place. As he's picking up the dolls, he finds this obscure note. Can't, um, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna put these away right now. I don't have time to indulge them in whatever I'm trying to... I want to know more about the note. I'm sure it's full of clues. As Ali tries to give a tour of his newly remodeled upstairs, the ghosts let him know a coat of fresh paint isn't going to solve this phantom infestation. My old office, they've turned into a child's room uh, for the showing, and uh, I have with it. I really like it. Okay, are you serious? After the knocking quiets down, Ali continues, but then so does the knocking. The room, and then my futon takes up half the. Who is it? Ali questions the ghosts, but they only taunt him. Why do you keep knocking? Are you mad at us? Does that mean yes? After clarifying that one knock means yes and two means no, Ali gets a few more answers. Are you mad at us? He finally gets to the bottom of why the ghosts are angry with them. Are you mad at us for moving? And they really don't want these guys to leave. Oh, I was down here. What what happened? I don't know. I just walked in the kitchen. It was like this. I didn't... What the... F it seems to me like these ghosts will stop at nothing to make their point. Oh my... Okay, I'll clean it in the morning. Just leave it. Can you get Luna? And Ali and Co. better be hyper aware of their surroundings before their move out date. YouTuber Smug Puppies Poltergeists are at it again, this time with some annoying and incessant knocking. Let me end today again. There we go. Playing bloody games, knocking. Nothing. Nothing at all. As but the usual. While investigating the sound and coming up empty-handed, the knocking starts at the other side of the room. See? Ah. Uh, that's the front door. I think, yeah. Here we go. As you may have guessed, the minute he opens the front door, the knocking moves somewhere else, but this time, something else happens. Uh, what the f is that? that definitely sounded like it came from under the bed. What's under there? Let's see, I can drop my phone down. Can you see anything? I'll see it when I post it, but I really can't see anything. 
I hope there's nothing in there. Some people are seeing eyes, but those two reflective spots don't look like eyes to me. They look like something mechanical. Just as the YouTuber starts to think that everything is over, he returns to the living room to find this. Hopefully that's it, guys. And he's just, oh, what the f that? Well, I definitely think there's something paranormal lurking in this man's house. It seems to me that it's just having a bit of fun. Nothing to worry about. Yet. Colorado's 19th century Glendale Stagecoach Station and Inn has seen many a wary traveler pass on through, and now it seems some of their spirits lay their heads here to rest. YouTube team Aiden's Escapades investigates this historic haunted way stop while using a spirit box. Aiden receives some strange messages. And this. Someone is watching and they need help. A while later, they plead again. Would you help these lost souls? I think it could all be a con, but I'd probably have to try. YouTube team Ghost Theory is returning to this haunted location for the third time. Their first attempt at capturing footage of solo challenges was corrupted. On this occasion, they are again prevented from attempting the solo challenges by the immediate paranormal activity that unfolds in this real-time footage. As they enter, they hear quiet movement in the haunted place. Just as they conclude that it must be branches hitting the house, they hear this. <laughs> Was that human or spirit? As they debate what it was, they're snapped back to reality. What he's just run out of the fucking door. Okay. They break out their K2 meter and get a sharp reading. Don't want to go in where the coffin is. K2. Nothing has moved. Apart from you, actually. Nope. You're back where you were, and it's still going off. They search the house and the grounds for the person or being, and although they don't get a visual, you feel that someone or something is there. Can you see it? I Jesus. That's come from over here. As they check every nook and cranny of the place, they hear this. Fuck. What the f radio? Sorry for the camera work, guys. What the f is that? I don't like that. It's like a radio. No one's gonna go to hear. I give these guys credit for sticking out this investigation after all they've witnessed here. I would have been out of there in the first five minutes. It truly seems that something escaped shortly after they entered, and I'm not sure if it was human, animal, or demon. While exploring the Broken Bow Asylum alone, YouTuber Haunt Row TV captures this creepy message on the wall. And then they hear a spirit's voice. Listen closely.
Although the voice is faint, I do hear it. The other noises are much louder and without explanation. What do you think is here? I think it's a trapped soul. Did this trail cam capture an actual dinosaur on camera? TikToker MindFunk7 shares this mysterious footage, taken at night. Watch closely. It looks like a small reptilian creature, running on its hind legs. TikTokers in the comments have their own wild theories. Some think it's a kangaroo, but others say kangaroos can't physically run like that. I don't know who to believe. Personally, I don't think it's any existing creature that we know. It looks straight out of Jurassic Park to me. Cue the chills. You're really testing fate if you visit Skinwalker Mountain, especially in the middle of a blizzard. YouTuber CJ Faison and his team weren't prepared for the blizzard or for being watched. They start with a spirit box session in which they're given a warning. Stop going. Stop going. They're coming. <laughs> They're coming. There's a distant sound, but I'm not sure if it's environmental or paranormal. But after a while, the pair hears footsteps. I don't hear them, maybe due to the wind, but the noise scares the guys enough to relocate the truck. As the blizzard kicks off, they're not safe from nature or from whatever's stalking them. Whoa, what the f was that? What, what, what? Wait, 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 listen, listen. Some in the comments are seeing a figure between the bushes at this point. I see it too, but is it a trick of the eyes due to the snow? Maybe, or maybe these guys are near enough to the skinwalkers that they can reach out and touch them. YouTuber Grafnix and his team are fleeing the infamous Jeff the Killer. Jeff is looking to destroy their evidence against him. Let's see if they're able to escape. They're hiding out from him, and they have to be careful. Wait, wait, what are you doing? What? What? Stop! Shh, shh, shh. In the car, they get a call from him. Hello? Unknown number. One, one sec. It's maybe the, 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 the maybe. Hello? <laughs> it's Jim the Killer. <laughs> While looking for even more evidence, they don't realize they're being stalked. I did see that there was another building over here. I'm gonna try and look around there a bit. Hopefully, my friends end up finding some more evidence that. Oh! Oh! Okay. okay, Jeff. As Jeff winds up, Grafnix takes his chance. Back off. You're not getting that evidence, okay? We're gonna stop you, alright? Okay. Get back. Okay. He meets up with his friends, but Jeff follows. Will Jeff burn the barn? Will the guys be able to save the evidence and save themselves? You'll have to tune into their follow up video to find out. I know I'm going to. One of the last things you'd wish to stumble across on an urban exploration is a coffin. YouTube team Rebu de Terre 2.0 shares this video of their chilling discovery on an exploration of an abandoned building. As they wander, mysterious things happen. Is someone in the building with them? Then they come across this creepy but amazing bit of sculpture outside. 
Moi, j'ai vu de gros yeux, j'ai même évalué. Wesh Je croyais que c'était notre cerveau, il jouait des trucs. Wesh, ouais, c'est le cras l'amour dans Dofus Les gars, je vais vous expliquer un peu. It becomes clear that something is watching them, and shortly after, it becomes even clearer. <laughs> it turns out to be a friend, so there's one mystery solved, but this is perhaps their most startling discovery. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a coffin, but it's hard telling what it could be otherwise. I know I wouldn't want to try it on for size. The horror film The Descent follows women cavers into the depths of a cave system where they are stalked by an unknown creature. YouTube team Rob with Scooby and Scooby head to the cabin where they filmed some of the scenes, and on his way there, something is watching him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you can see this. Eyes looking at us in the woods. Possibly foxes. Oh, you get the glare. When he arrives at the cabin, it does look straight out of a horror movie. Coming into full view there. That is an actual horror movie cabin location from the film, the 2005 film, The Descent. But luckily, things aren't what they seem. Hold it up. I think originally this was a hunting lodge. Um, obviously, the filmmakers found the location, found it was perfect. Or are they? Meant film locations of the mountain area. What was that strange mist? Meant film locations of the mountain area. Maybe this place is haunted after all. Well, I think that was probably condensation from Rob speaking on this cold night. I feel like this place is too spooky and must be haunted. What sound do demons make? YouTube team The Ouija Brothers enter the demon house one of the UK's most haunted abandoned places. The team senses someone at the back door. Hello? Oi! No, I don't think so. I fold the wall. Although he doesn't find anyone, I hear a sort of hissing sound as he leans out to look. What was that? He remains at the door for a while, and he hears some knocking. Should we knock on the window then? Huh? Any of you knock on a window then? No. There's someone out here then? Is something there? Either human or paranormal? I can't tell, but the darkness abounds. Is the haunted Papworth Hospital worth exploring? YouTube Team Ghost Theory tests their fates to answer that question in this scary video. As they enter the building, they hear a whistle. Continuing their tour of the hospital, the spirits there respond to their questions. Can you see us? That was a yes, wasn't it? Yeah. What the actual... They get an affirmative answer again. Are there more than one... Is there more than one spirit here? That's a yes. As they stay quiet for a minute, they hear multiple noises in the stillness. That's weird. And also, I'm confused because why in like a reception area? Yeah, well, I guess they could be anywhere. Yeah, yeah wandering around. Is that true? Are you just, do you just walk around here? 
further along, they capture a door moving. Whoa. Yeah, no, I Whoa. just heard that. I've just started recording. That door's just moved. They then hear a loud thump from another room. Wow. And then another strange noise is heard. As they head outside, there's faint crying in the night. Is that the baby? The baby crying there, did you? I think it could be just one of the houses. There aren't any. There are just there, in front of us. The lights on. Is that a baby crying? Before they can find out, they face off with some of the scariest beings that ghost hunters can ever encounter. Humans. While the team may have been here, it sounds to me like they're not alone. It seems plenty of spirits are afoot at Papworth. This abandoned house holds a demon, and Jenya and Dima from the YouTube team, Dark Mystic, are about to feel its wrath. As they set up a spirit box to talk to the demon, another steady cam captures this. And a little later, this happens. The team hears this and goes to check but finds nothing. Is it just a coincidence that these things fell as they attempted to communicate with the demon? You might think so, until you see this image also captured on a steady cam. The demon lies in the shadows. Do you see it? Well, it could just be shadowy pareidolia, combined with the unexplained falling items. I do think there's more to it than that. The ancient Ram Inn in the UK is notoriously haunted. YouTube team Lost Souls Paranormal Door Set has come to test its reputation, and they don't leave empty-handed. The spirits quickly show they mean business. What the f You got scratches, the scratches. on your in one of the rooms, the team hears walking and singing. Anyone in this room, can you let us know, please? Multiple cat balls go off at once, and the team is given a name. No, I feel safe over here. I don't know what cat I ball. Oh, oh, the cat ball's cat going ball. off. And it wasn't you walking because all three of them would have gone off. Is that you? Is that the lady? Josie. Josie? Josie. Just got the name Josie. Honest. Is Josie here? We'll soon know for sure. The team believes they've captured her figure in the mirror. Do you think this is a phantom reflection? I do see a face and an eye, but I could be imagining things. All this evidence, however, does seem promising. If you tick off a poltergeist, be ready for retaliation. YouTuber Andrew Duffy shares the scary footage of his experience dealing with a resident poltergeist named John. First, he hears something laughing. Swear to God, just heard something. Sounded like a, a laugh or something like that. That was weird. Did you hear it too? Andrew starts provoking the poltergeist. Come on, John. Make something happen now with you here. And right away, he receives a response. I know it's you, John. Whoa. 
He opens the door to find no one there, but one thing is out of place. Show yourself. We know you're more than capable. Right, that freaking door's been opened. More sound is heard from the laundry room. Go and see what's happening in here. I'm not looking forward to it, but it's got to be done. Let's do it. Show yourself, John. Don't be a coward. Then, as he's heading downstairs, Poltergeist John throws the boots at him. That's just hit me in the f***ing head, you Downstairs, John shows he means business. Whoa! 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 Holy... And he won't stand for being called names. A coward! Whoa! 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 What the f*** was that? Whoa! What the f***? Holy f***! A knife just come. I feel that Andrew is playing with fire. He should lay off John before someone gets hurt, because since John is already passed on, that someone will be Andrew. A boy in Japan lost his family. They were all mysteriously found lifeless when he was discovered locked in the garage. The boy later drew this painful image. YouTube channel Fourth Wall shares his tragic tale as the house now seems to be haunted. Here's some video from one of the rooms. The home's new owner captured even more chilling footage. That sounded like a human voice, but there's no one here, and somehow, it really didn't sound human at all. A still camera also captures something frightening in the garage. Did you see the feet? A camera from outside the garage captures no one. This is completely unsettling. What is in this cursed home? Was it haunted before or after this family lost their lives? Did this entity lock the boy in the garage, or was it saving him? So many questions without answers, but in my opinion, Whatever is here is dying to wreak havoc again. For more scary videos like this one, be sure to check out Fourth Wall's channel. All of their videos have English subtitles. This now abandoned estate is a remnant of the Russian Empire, and it's believed to be haunted. YouTuber Dimitri Blackdad attempts to spend the night here. Will he make it out alive? He feels sick already upon entering. It seems that something evil lies within. His fear escalates from there. All 
Although Dimitri doesn't see anything jump scary, you can feel his fear within you as he walks this historic estate. I can barely breathe too. This is one terrifying tour I wouldn't want to take alone in the dark. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by DurfeeFenhu405, this redditor wrote, Strange noises at night in my home in rural Ohio. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. The user explains in the description that they were woken up to these strange noises and their dog barking at them. They've had a hard time sleeping ever since. I'm not sure what to tell you, Durfee, other than maybe it's time to move out. Are the Owen Nagat Caves the most haunted place on Earth? YouTube team Dark Arts TV is determined to find out in this chilling video. They arrive at the mysterious mouth of the cave. Do they dare enter? Perhaps they shouldn't have. While well, inside, they hear a mysterious whistle. Oh my, did you just hear that? The whistle, even. Using a spirit box, they're delivered this creepy message. Killed by her. Killed by her. Frightened. They then hear another whistle. Did you just hear that? Did you just hear that? They capture a recording that puts them on edge. Get out, kill him. No, I'm hearing get and then get out. What? Yeah. It sounds like get out. Thanks kill the camera. I hear what Carl heard on that one. They then discover these random trinkets shoved in a hidey hole. We don't know, do It just seems a bit random to shove in there as well. Why is that there? And they find these random markings on the wall, followed by a moan. Whoa, 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 did you hear that? Yeah, moan. We can hear ya. Using headphones and a version of the Estes method, Sarah gets really freaked out by what she hears. I think they should beware. Really? That's the first actual like voice that came through. First I heard scary, scary, but it was like weird. But that was like the clearest gut where like it was like an, a man's voice going, beware. Oh, it's like me. that was like beware. It's interesting because I'm, I'm pretty much taught in it now. Each message they receive from the beyond gets creepier by the minute. The most haunted house in Texas has many secrets, and YouTube team Nick and Ryan are here to find them. As they're reading through Hill House's mysteries, they hear something. Open the closet. This is one of the portals the spirits enter through. Ryan? Hello? Where Later, they enter the most haunted part of the house, and things devolve from there. Is there anyone down here? Oh, 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 whoa. What happened? What happened? Whoa. Sahuma. Did you hear that? Yeah. I heard that. Something touched my leg. I swear, listen, I swear to f***ing. They said your dog's name, bro. As Nick feels like he bumped into something in the room, the spirit box says his dog's name. Then several devices go off at once. Please don't. I don't know what this. I'm literally. Realized, is this you? Oh, that is going on. 
Are the spirits here trying to communicate with the team? It seems like there's plenty of evidence to me. They're definitely present, but what they'd like to say is yet unclear. YouTube team The New Reality Paranormal is investigating a haunted general store, and inside they hear and see some unexplained things. First, as they enter, footsteps are heard. It said wave. It just said wave. And right after, a voice. Okay. It said rat. Yeah. You should, you're, now you're calling names or what? Resorting to calling people names. Was Did, that a voice? What? That's a sort of, that was a voice. Is somebody in here? It seems like it to me, especially after seeing this white orb drift past just as Sean says he's feeling nauseous. Like, I almost feel nauseous. Whoa. Back of my neck is... Oh, no, dude, 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 I am catching it on film right now. I think there's a reason Sean is queasy. A spirit just traveled straight through him. Pull a pint with this ghost and YouTube team, Tommy among the tombstones. The paranormal investigators head to a haunted bar and their chat with the spirits sees some action. Now, we're gonna try to communicate with you in an older way. Dude, it's touching it. It's touching it. Thank you for touching that. After making their presence known, the spirit amps up its energy. Dude. More energy. What? Oh my I just got chills. That seems like a pretty pointed remark through the spirit app. And it turns out, the spirit is somewhat disgruntled by their intrusion. If you don't want us to do the spirit board, touch that. Leave me alone. What? What the f dude? It does not want us to do this. I agree, it does not want them here. If I had to guess, this spirit would like to drink his spirits in peace. YouTuber Tim Morozov spends the night in this paranormal apartment where he encounters severe manifestations. First, a loud knocking is heard. Tim is examining this room when a shadowy figure sweeps past on camera. He senses someone behind him. As he's cleaning some glass, a light flickers on and off in the room beyond. Watch the door in the hallway. Tim notices and goes to open the door. And this is what he captures on camera. Later, a steady cam captures a door opening. Then, as he's checking the temperature, the doors in the hallway closet swing open. He approaches to get a closer look. Although he finds that there's nothing in the closet, there's clearly an energy nearby. As he wonders about the evil in this place, it continues to show off.
before messing with his equipment. This paranormal apartment is a bit too much for me. The evil energies are strong here, and I think they could be dangerous to all who enter. Is it wind, or is someone home? YouTuber Adam Mark Explores was exploring an abandoned home when something began sounding against the door of this room. Listen closely. He approaches the door to open it. Hello? There's absolutely no one inside. Although you might think it was just a breeze, watch the door handle again closely. It does look like the handle moves slightly, so I'm going to rule out the wind. Is this the spirit of the home's former owner, Elizabeth Hopkins? Whether it's Elizabeth or not, I do think evil resides here. In the 9th century, Mount Fuji erupted over six months, burying entire villages. This led to dense forest growing over a massive lava field known as Aoki Gahara or the Sea of Trees. YouTuber Steve Ronin visits Japan's most haunted forest and he is in danger. While standing and talking in the darkness, a loud roar is heard off screen. The strangest thing about this is the guys don't seem to notice or acknowledge yet. The capture. Wait, what, what is an SRS? SLS. Obviously, I know what SRS means. They're hearing things though, and the spirits give them a clue. Strangled. Again! Again. What the f Bro, that was a weird voice because it sounded like from there and then just circled around us. But it just said strangled again as well. This could be a different Double? person now. Strangled again? They speak to the spirits with a recording device, and the spirits tell them exactly where they are. Uh, what? I sound like this is this, Hang on, let's, let me... What is this? Are they reaching out from the beyond? I don't know if it's just my knowledge about this place's haunted history, but the ambiance here makes me feel unsettled. And that roar is going to haunt me. Wait, what, what is an SRS? SLS. Is this house haunted by a sweet little grandma? YouTuber Dennis of Dark Ghost Paranormal thinks maybe she's not so sweet. He quickly gets a reading on his K2 meter. And soon he doesn't need a K2 to detect this granny's energy. She starts making lots of noise off screen. Before long, she gets physical. It seems she has a message for Dennis. Something rattles inside the wardrobe.
Dan just can't get away from it fast enough, and later it happens again. Grandma is all around him. He hears a whining sound. But at least this is just a cat. But later he feels like someone is watching him. And it seems that he is right. Друзья, я думаю, что мне 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 срочно нужно отсюда сейчас уходить. Because this happens. Just when you think this wardrobe can't take any more, what does this grandma spirit want from poor Dennis? Maybe a change of clothing? I don't know the answer. That's probably why this is just yet another question that's puzzling the world. A second entry on this list explores Hill House, the most haunted house in Texas. This time, YouTuber Kelsey Davis, who is a psychic medium, feels the presence there. I have chills right now. There's someone behind me. I think it's Toby. I'm getting the chills. Toby. And she hears it too. Oh. Oh, oh my. Kelsey, it started running. Oh. It started running. Towards you? Yes. It was loud. You heard his foot. It was like that. As they're turning on the spirit app, they hear another terrible bump. Oh my. Kelsey, Kelsey. Later, a paranormal device goes off, as does a child's toy. Where's that coming from? It's upstairs. It's Josh's room. <gasps> Get the f out of here. Oh, no, f this. What? That is f this. What was that? It's a f toy. It's in Josh's room. They head up to Josh's room to see what toy was triggered. Hi, Joshua. Oh, what? what? Something ran up again, like, um, like ran, at, ran at me. Ran at you? Yeah. What's that sound? Where's that coming from? I think I've had enough of Hill House. I'm 100% positive that if I paid this place a visit, I'd leave with my pants brown. All that's left behind is left to wilt in this abandoned house in the mountains. YouTuber Adam Mark Explores takes us on a journey into the past as he tours this haunting place. First, he comes across this old photograph. Wow. Just mad thought to think that all these people have passed away now. But it's as he heads toward the cupboard that he thinks the people in those photos are not long gone after all. Oh my, what? Ma. The fing cupboard's just opened on its own. No way. I fing. I've got it on camera. Let's see that again. 
Oh my, what? Did he maybe nudge the cupboard a bit upon approach? It's possible, but to me, his reaction sells it. I believe the cupboard popped open on its own without any help at all. Well, apart from the help of the ghost, of course. The roots of British Columbia's historic Alexandra Lodge reach back over a century to the pioneer and gold rush days. While staying overnight there, YouTube team Ghostly Activities is having a physical reaction to the place. I just felt like something pushed the back of my knees. Really? Yeah. Like actually. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Can you do that again to Anthony? With the spirit box on, the team is given a familiar warning. That oh, was fun. It said leave. <laughs> the spirit is adamant. You need to leave. Leave. Go. Will they heed its command? Of course not. Later, while they're using the Estes method, they hear a distinct knocking. We just heard a noise up here. It was just like a knocking. Of wood. And they feel something or someone's presence. What the heck is happening right now? It's like we're being surrounded. Yeah. They're gone. No, they're not. Is the team being surrounded? And with what intent? Who's gonna die? Why would you say that? I think the answer to that question is fairly obvious. Have you ever felt an evil energy you couldn't explain? The YouTube team North Shore Paranormal explores the Glore Psychiatric Museum. The museum is housed in the former State Lunatic Asylum No. 2, which opened in St. Joseph, Missouri in 1874. The museum sent me some historic photos, including this one I found the most chilling. This is the stomach contents of a patient here. As the North Shore Paranormal Team explores, the building soon becomes alive. Okay, that's the echo. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> After the EMF meter responds to their request, they move to the third floor, where they receive this worrisome message. On the second floor, they start to hear things. Did you just make that noise? No, no, not you. I heard a click over here, and now the EMF's going off. In one room, they notice two mirrors facing each other. This is often believed to be a vortex between two worlds, and that appears to come up in their communication. Are you scared of Violet? Vortex. Vortex? Vortex? Where's the vortex here? Am I standing in one? Would you consider those two mirrors? Oh my Oh my Perhaps the vortex has allowed spirits or energies to pass in and out of this haunting museum. They're in limbo, never able to return home. Because where is their home now? I can't answer that question, but I can say it's making me never want to leave mine. Home to the so-called Black Monk. 30 East Drive is one of the most haunted places in the United Kingdom. YouTube team the Ouija brothers are here to investigate, or at least do a sleep study, as they're asleep in one of the rooms and noise is heard. And later the noise again, and this time watch the chest of the man in the bed. It looks like someone pressed down on his chest. The YouTubers say that this is the only time this movement happens in over two hours of footage. Later, while wandering the house, they hear a very loud, unexplained sound. And then I'm, I'm standing in here and, and it, it felt like it was in my face. What was that? <gasps> I had that bang. Did you hear that yeah, leg, yeah, that yeah. bang was? Here it is again from another camera. And then I'm, I'm standing in here and, and it, it felt like it was in my face. What was that? The banging is heard throughout the house. Most incredible. What a problem. What was that? Most... 
Hello? Stay. I don't need more convincing. This place is clearly full of terror, and it seems to love to wreak havoc. The YouTube team Ouija Brothers had to end their investigation after this paranormal encounter. They arrive at the abandoned place to find it destroyed. Oh man, uh, look at look it. Look at that. Look, the look at the windows all on the top. Oh no. They've smashed all the windows on the top. They smashed some bottom windows up. I opened up all the doors, which is handy for us. Once inside, they attempt to communicate with the spirits, and in doing so, they hear a voice. And that can mean no. Your phone just said something, didn't it? Here it is again. Once, and that can mean no. Your phone just said something, didn't it? And they keep hearing voices, although these aren't being picked up by their audio. Hello? I can hear, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you hear the voices? Upstairs, he has a strange encounter that freaks him out. Could you do something else but closer and inside this room, please? <laughs> Here it is again from another angle. Could you do something else but closer and inside this room, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What do you think buzzed past him? Was it just a bug, as some in the comments suspect, or something of the paranormal variety? Considering the voices they heard earlier, I think he was actually feeling the buzz of paranormal energy. While touring Penhurst Asylum in Spring City, Pennsylvania, YouTube team Grim Life Collective are astounded by its horror. It would be a beautiful ruin if its history wasn't so horrifying. A room like this, four people on average. Just walking this history, just looking at this, is just imagining. Isn't it, isn't it, yeah, it's incredible. After seeing the real place, the team is welcomed into the haunted house, a tourist attraction mirroring Penhurst Asylum. sense that they would have an operating room. The operating table makes sense, but this doesn't. How happy are you that they don't have the air on? I'm very happy. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to make this asylum into a haunted house. I think it could insult the spirits that reside here. This office should be shut down permanently. Why? Because it's been invaded by the devil. YouTuber Paranormal Mai investigates the haunted office in this scary video. The cameraman finds the faucet running. Does the demon like to waste the living's vital resources? While wandering the hallways, more strange noises are heard. Later, in a darkened office, he finds things spinning. He then hears a voice and sees a door moving. Although I didn't see the door myself, I definitely did this time. When he tells the demon to show itself, it takes the request seriously. Allah 
Shortly after, he captures the demon in the flash, and it's terrifying. <laughs> More loud bangs are heard, followed by a mysterious EVP. In a darkened hallway, he captures what could, again, be a figure, followed by another EVP. This, to me, looks more like a smudge on the camera than a figure, unlike the first form, which does in fact look like a tall shadow person in my opinion. What do you think? Should this office be shut down permanently? I think so. A pale-faced creature is stalking the darkness, and YouTuber Terror Alex Streamo is stalking it back. At first, the creature is barely distinguishable. No se ve nada, ¿verdad? Es que sí. La neblina está. But then it can be seen passing behind a pillar. And then around the side of the building. It starts causing chaos. And it doesn't stop. When they try to walk away, it draws them back in. It's like they're playing a game of cat and mouse, and it's getting more and more dangerous. But what creature is playing with them? They spot it again in the end, but it's just a fragment of the being. Hey, Leo, allá banco. Hey, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? What is this thing? I am not sure exactly, but it's definitely a paranormal entity judging by all the mayhem. This house is so haunted that no one can last the night. YouTuber Adam Mark Explores tries his best to, but the challenge is more than he can handle. As he asks the spirit to make its presence known, he hears footsteps. Move one of these chairs. Whoa. It seems to me like the footsteps are his partners, but they do seem to continue after he stops walking. Later, he is using a recording device when he hears movement behind him. Just as Matt feels that something touched him, a steady cam captures the basement door opening. But I don't know if it was just me overthinking it. That's it's touched you. Yeah, I felt it here, like something, like my jumper moved. But it could have been, I don't know, it could have yeah. just been my mind. But... This place is so haunted, no one can last a night. I'm surprised the guys have lasted this long. I sure wouldn't. While visiting the Witch's Tower in San Diego's Presidio Park, YouTubers Mackie and Amanda are confronted. It all starts with whispers and orbs. That's rough, no, wait, 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 wait. That's rough, Did you notice the orb that appears simultaneously with the whisper? After Amanda hears a voice on the stairs, they also hear footsteps. Voice. There's no way someone on the stairs. There's someone behind the stairs too. There's someone on the stairs. All right. Would you be able to set off one of our red devices on the entrance of the staircase or up on this wall? Shortly after, a strange black mass appears on camera. Keep your eye on the top right of the screen. And she finally told me that. What was that? 
Maybe it was the camera strap getting in the way. Maybe later Mackie feels a burning on her back. When they check it, they find a mysterious scratch mark. Is it right here? Yes, right there. Yes, right there. you literally do. And it's, what is it? It's like a what deep it? scratch. Oh, no, it's not. I okay. swear to God, it's like a deep scratch. Like what one finger. Like, no, like, like three. As they're getting ready to leave, they hear a whisper that sounds like something said Mackie. I think something has it out for Mackie here, and she'd better leave the witch's tower before it harms her further. YouTuber Ricky Velasquez visits the most haunted house in Guadalajara, Mexico, and what he witnesses there will send chills down your spine. Escuchen todo eso. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? What was that noise? Listen again. These voices or whispers are deeply unsettling, and along with the visual evidence of a figure captured by the Kinect, I think this place is for sure haunted. Wow! No puedo creerlo. Muchas gracias. After a while, the figure suddenly disappears. Por esto quería que por esto querías que viniera. But they leave their voice behind. ¿Cómo te puedo ayudar, amigo? ¿Qué pasa? This house in Guadalajara sure lives up to its reputation. To me, there seems like plenty of proof here that the place is the city's most haunted. YouTuber Lomar Mendez and his team are spending the night in the Hinsdale house, and they may just need an exorcism now. As they begin, one of the crew appears to have the gift. He's doing like a wire. Yeah, but, yeah. He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's bringing EMF to EMF. Oh. That is, that's, that dude. With his old body. <laughs> that's awesome. I, I knew this was a bad idea. He continues to touch the globe, and the REM pod goes crazy. I've never seen that before. Me neither. And you can put force right through that, too. So In the cellar, they start feeling the temperature shift as they communicate through a spirit app. Well, I guess they yeah. agree with me, huh? I guess so. The accuracy on that. I think they just don't like it down here. Keep well, one of the crew is performing the Estes method. A demonic voice growls what some in the comments are saying is the word. Mm -hmm. Out. Who's mm -hmm. your? The weird thing is that no one seems to notice or be disturbed by it. I get the chills just watching this video. I can't imagine what it actually feels like to be inside the Hinsdale house and then to hear this. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'd be gone. After entering a creepy forest to search out a haunted mansion deep within, YouTube team Ghost Theory finds it, but it may not be empty. Damn it. In an upstairs room, they hear something else. That complex or anything, it's just weird. I am on edge, but. Something just knocked the stairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they head to the stairs to check it out. Hello? Hello? As they move downstairs, this happens. That was right behind me though. <laughs> it's just the wind. It's just the wind. But it was like, it was such a force right behind me. It, like, a loud noise. They ask the spirits to react and they follow through. Can you make a sound? Can you throw something or show yourself if you're with us? 
Later, another clanking sound is heard. Some light taps follow. In another stairwell, Elliot hears something that Joe doesn't, but then they both hear it. Just heard something like that. Here it is again. I just heard something like that. I think this is enough evidence to confirm this mansion is haunted, but the spirits here seem too shy to reveal themselves. A woman suddenly disappeared from this home without a trace. Her car is still in the garage. YouTuber Adrian Urbeck searches the home to see what clues he might find. When he arrives, he finds the front door and window wide open. Y'a quelqu'un? He receives no response, so he enters. Once inside, he finds these mysterious markings. And it looks like someone broke into this room with force. D'accord. He then comes across this ultra creepy doll. Ça c'est glauque. Hein. Hyper glauque. Je sais pas ce qui lui est arrivé, on dirait qu'il a été éventré. Oh, regardez. And he hears an unknown background noise. Y'a un bruit. Y'a une espèce de bruit de fond. Je sais pas ce que c'est. Peut-être. Euh... Quelque chose qui coule. After a while, he thinks it may be electric, but the lights aren't working. Genre, il y a vraiment, il y a vraiment un bruit de fond. Et c'est pas un bruit de, c'est pas un bruit d'eau, on dirait un bruit électrique. Je vais peut-être tester. Non. Adrian never does find out what that noise is. Could it be linked to the woman's disappearance? I don't think we'll ever know for sure, but what I do know is I get a very eerie feeling from this place. If you were cordially invited to a demon wedding, would you attend? YouTuber Paranormal My wedding crashes this one, and he is clearly not welcome. Staking out the ceremony in his vehicle, he starts seeing things. He's recording all the while, and after playing the recording back, this is what he finds. That demonic growl sounds way too close, and the communication continues. Recording again for a time, he interviews the demon and receives similar incoherent responses. Is this demon in the car with him? It sure sounds like it's way too close. And if this is what a demon wedding sounds like, I definitely don't want an invite. Oh. At this abandoned psychiatric hospital, YouTuber Alberto Del Arco and his team are being watched. But what they're being watched by, they're not so sure. As they continue, something is thrown at them. Como una monja enorme. Oh, la madre. 
Y algo, algo arriba, algo arriba cayó. Algo arriba. ¿Te pegó a ti? Sí, cayó de arriba, güey. Cayó de arriba, güey. Cayó de arriba. Did it fall or was it thrown? It looked like it was thrown to me. As they continue through the place, they hear an EVP and they see a shadow. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Silencio, silencio. Hey, busca allá, güey. No vayan a salirnos por allá, güey. Escuchemos, escuchemos, escuchemos. Later, they hear something more. Otra vez, güey. De allá. It sounded to me like someone crying out in the darkness. Is there someone living in this horrid place? Or is this a cry of pain from the beyond? I don't know for sure, but this place ultimately feels haunting. YouTuber HD Adam has a terrible night of stressful paranormal activity. It all begins with some banging at the door. The activity then starts going on all around him, every which way he turns. Allah. The poltergeists then turn things up a notch. After spotting these mysterious markings, the activity continues. And then we're back where we started. I don't think I'd stay another second in this haunted place. It's obvious that evil is found here. While exploring the real life UK conjuring house, YouTube team Explore A Lot is in for a scare. When they ask the spirits a question using the spirit box, they get a direct answer. Are any of the miners here that died in the pit outside? They ask again, but the spirits are elusive. Are we speaking to the miners? Why? Later, during an Estee session, they get more answers. Is there a strongest spirit? They are. Point knock to near the door. The spirits encourage the team to make more efforts. Try harder. Come on. Are we getting something right? We're trying to feel your energy, but you're not setting any of our devices off. Reach out for us. We're going to come through. This seems to me like a clear message. They are trying to come through from the other side. Later, using a flashlight, a K2 meter, and a REM pod, the team continues to try and get to the bottom of things. Do you not know? Where your body is? Okay. Doesn't know. Doesn't know. There you go. Yeah, that is confirmation. Both of them are like going off together, yeah. aren't they? To me, this confirmation indicates that these spirits are lost and either need help crossing over to the other side or returning here to Earth. Otherwise, they'll be forever stuck in limbo. The historic Jefferson Hotel has an encyclopedia of haunted history, and the hotel's official YouTube channel documents each account meticulously. The series of videos reveals strange happenings in the hotel's howled halls. In the first one, watch the light bulb at the far end of the hallway. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Here we go. <laughs> so, I have two sets of audio I'll show you here in a second. But watch the bulb. If you're wondering why she's screaming, notice that the light turned on by itself. In another hallway, a haunted doll does a backflip. There's a customer walking and there's a doll 
right here. This is about to do a backflip. Now that doll, uh, I can contest because I hung it there, sat there for about a month. A third clip shows a piece of white fabric moving on its own in another room. Now, Another doll falls, this time off screen, but you can hear it. Doll falls. <laughs> in this clip, a spooky misty figure appears in the corner of this room. There's something in peering in. And then it looks almost really wavy like it's a curtain. Um, you can hear. Obviously, there's, there's something there. Uh, we have cameras going up and down the stairs. I checked on that timestamp. Nothing. Lastly, yet another creepy doll falls. Or is she pushed? Um, she had probably been standing for about a week. But, as you can see, she's about to fall over. Gravity? Possibly. Spirit? Who knows? While well, some may say these can all be explained, I'd suggest that if they really think so, they should put their money where their mouth is and sleep overnight in the doll room of the historic Jefferson. And while they do, I'll be hiding in the comments. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by the Caphead Bolthead, this redditor wrote, I had just finished my basement with no furniture and was going to set a security camera in my basement. I had it running and noticed this. I could find the video, so I screen captured it. As far as tracking that thing, I took my phone from the computer screen and tracked it with my phone. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. I noticed near the end of the footage a very visible flying orb that was captured on camera. I believe this is what the Redditor is referring to. Orbs can be associated with paranormal activity, but also can be digital artifacts caught on a low resolution security camera. I don't want to jump to any conclusions here, but the flight pattern of the orb has me leaning towards the paranormal for this one. What do you think is going on here? While investigating the supposedly haunted, Indiana State Sanitarium, YouTube Team Epoch Paranormal, hears some unexplained noises coming from upstairs. Hello? Hey! When they go to check the place to see if anyone's there, they hear a disembodied voice. It sounds to me like it says, I'll get you. They come back down to find the door open. Holy guys. What? The door is open. Was it open? The door I closed it. I closed the, it. The door was fucking closed. I pushed it. Not all the way closed, but it was kind of closed. Later, as they're firing up a paranormal device, they hear another unexplained thud. I have no doubt this penitentiary is haunted, and judging by the spirit's aggression, I don't think they're welcome here. From the moment they enter this state prison, the YouTube team, Ghost Quests, feels they're not alone. Is there anyone in there? What was that? What was that? A villain seems to be lurking around every corner. What the f is that? Someone just ran behind you, dude. What the f? Did you hear that? That sounds like a. And as they hear footsteps, things get weirder. Someone just spit on me! Oh, Someone just spit on me! Did a spirit just spit on him? Or is there simply a leak in the ceiling? I'm leaning more toward a demon when he is confronted by the being shortly after. Dude, hold on, hold on, come here, come here. Where's your light? I need your phone light. Did 
Sorry, that was me. Oh my <laughs> You have a huge scratch mark. You have a Look at this. Two red scratch marks appear across his back. I think he was just spit on and scratched by a ghostly convicted criminal. And who knows what more he'll try to get away with in the darkness. YouTube team HD Adam Paranormal finds themselves crying from fear in this mysterious abandoned village. That's because it's not totally abandoned. In the darkness of this derelict hut, they start to hear noises. They ask the spirit to prove its presence. With the light back on, the presence continues to shake the room. When they ask it to move the door, the spirit complies. The team thinks the entity playing around with them is a genie. I think, genie or not, whatever is here will soon be done playing. Long forgotten and abandoned, this West Baltimore warehouse leaves a lot to the imagination. YouTuber, this is Dan Bell and his team dare to explore the creepy place at night. As he enters one cavernous room, he hears something. Then he hears undeniable footsteps and voices. He is not alone. And yet he continues. As he enters a stairwell, he hears another sound. Although I don't quite hear what he's hearing, I do hear someone later as they enter another room. And later on, this happens. I think there are definitely some squatters in this warehouse. While they may mean no harm, it's hard to tell what they might do. It's probably best to leave them alone. Steven Dillon from YouTube team Haunted Nights head to the haunted Broadwell funeral home in Felicity, Ohio. One of the creepiest parts of the video is captured while they're explaining the history of the place. And it's YouTuber Sparksy8340 that catches it. A translucent looking figure passes by across the street as Steve is walking. Watch right next to his neck. Um, operated downstairs. They would run it as such until 1976 when Carl also wanted to retire. It appears again when the camera returns to him. We just use the house as a private residence, not running any sort of business out of it. Could just be the lighting and camera quality. But later on, as they're starting up an estate session, a baby or child's giggle is heard. This again is captured by YouTuber Beckaboo3397. I like they're ready to communicate. I don't know who's up there, but I don't think they're uh, super excited that we're here. Did you hear it? They're uh. That gives me chills. 
especially because during the session, this intelligent exchange happens. So I said demons. Demons followed us. I don't believe you. Don't say that. Oh, that was weird. It was a woman. I just got the chills. It was like a woman's voice. It was like, don't say that. This is only scratching the surface of this investigation, and I'm already convinced that this place is beyond haunted. This haunted house isn't anything less than terrifying. The Ouija brothers head inside to discover what lurks within. As they first enter, they hear a door bang. What? So let's go and have a look. <gasps> did you hear that? I did hear like a boom. Like a bang of a door or something. They continue on and stop short again when they hear voices. In another hallway, they hear a woman's voice. Say. Yeah. That's like a woman's voice. With the spirit box on, some confused expressions resound. <laughs> Am I dead? Jesus. Your phone is, Anna. The, is the one. Abused. And while they're communicating with the spirit, they hear an unexplained thud. Then later, this low murmur is heard. Jace. Jace. What? To me, that was the creepiest bit of evidence in this whole investigation. I'm convinced, with that murmur and the messages through the spirit box, that something horrible transpired in this place. While on a rando nautica adventure, YouTuber exploring with Angelo and his team encounter a dangerous cult in the middle of the snowy woods. Will they be able to make it out? Let's find out. Angelo first senses that someone is watching them. I think I saw something move down there. Hello? Yeah. What the f Wait, I just heard something growl. As they continue finding clues, viewers notice a small speck of light in the distance behind Brad. So you just keep your cassette player on you? I mean, it makes sense because um, you continually keep finding these. Did you see it too? Well, that may be a stretch. This next part isn't. They need to go faster, just when you think they got away from him. Get the f back! Stay the f away from us! We need to get the f out of here. Let's go. I think this experience would put me off of Randonautica for a while, or for life. Who knows what these madmen want? Whatever it is, I want no part of it. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Burton Boy 1999 this Redditor wrote, There's something other than coyotes, wolves, and foxes. Can you hear it? I'm not sure how well it shows up and who all can hear it. Right before I go to turn around, I got the wildest chill down my back hearing that sound. But I seriously think there's something a lot larger in these woods. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Shadow Marine 1X wrote, I can kinda hear it, but I couldn't imagine being right there listening to all that. The whole clip sounds scary to me. Well, Roger that hunter thinks it's a werewolf. 
What do you think is responsible for making these noises? Let me know in the comments. It's been reported that the UK's Rivington Pike is haunted. YouTube team Dimensions Paranormal explore the moors, and the most mysterious part of their investigation occurs when they return to their car. <laughs> what? What? No. no, no. Okay. Okay. No. That's weird. That's really weird. Their car door is wide open. Did one of them accidentally leave it open? Did someone break in? Or is this a paranormal incident? I can yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the doors are all shut. Their valuables weren't taken, and they're pretty certain they shut the doors, so they ask the spirits here if they were the culprits, but they don't receive a valid answer. Okay, did somebody open the car? Did somebody open the car? Can you tell me who it was? Um, oops. I, I swear this was sh Well, I think it's possible that one of the team left the door open. That seems really improbable to me. And the fact that their stuff is all still there suggests there's been no foul play. That leaves paranormal activity as the explanation, and I believe it. A demon calls this place home, and the YouTube team Dark Mystic is here to investigate. Using a spirit box, they receive a message from the beyond. This demon apparently needs help, or maybe the spirits he's tormenting do instead. Meanwhile, a still cam in another room captures several unexplained noises. Noise resounds in a second room as well. The noises continue. Is the demon biding its time here until these men leave? I think that's what's happening. To me, he doesn't seem like he wants to scare them away with a bang. At least, not yet. During this paranormal investigation, YouTuber Visuals by Shay captured surprising poltergeist activity. So, we've started our investigation here at Oak Lodge, and I'm gonna go upstairs by myself for a bit. So, that's my... Upstairs, the team starts playing around with a cat ball when this happens. We're very good at this. We'll try to be further this time, shall we? No way. That's really cool. Well done, Jeffrey. I bet you were the... Oh. oh, fantastic. I bet you were the smartest in the class. Is this poltergeist the smartest in the class, or are we just looking at uneven floorboards? In my opinion, it really could be either. Do our animals have an afterlife? YouTuber Christy D Abnormal Paranormal believes this one does, and even there, it's being chased. The animal doesn't appear like a solid cat, but rather like a cat's shadow. Is it a shadow figure? A ghost cat? Or is it moving so fast in the dark that this camera didn't quite capture it? I think it could be any one of the three options, and that uncertainty is what's making me close my blinds. YouTuber Dalen Spratt visits cemeteries and communicates with ghosts through spirit box sessions. This particular cemetery is home to celebrities like Truman Capote, Hugh Hefner, and the beloved Marilyn Monroe. Sprat speaks to Marilyn, and the responses he gets are compelling. Is Marilyn here? Wait. It is apparently a thing for people to come and kiss Marilyn's tomb wearing pink lipstick. Sprat asks her if she cares for this. Marilyn, do you like when people come kiss your tomb? You 
it seems she doesn't, yet she is happy that she's remembered. How does it make you feel that you're still remembered years after you passed away? Say good. And she misses this world. Do you miss being here? Usually. Some viewers suggest listening to the responses at slow speed as more can be understood. I think Spratt's questions are intriguing, at the very least, and at the most, may provide a true insight into Marilyn's afterlife experience. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Horrifyingly Haunted 3, this redditor wrote, What the heck? Just peeked out from under the car. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Some viewers initially had trouble seeing the object, but after they did, some thought it could be a cat, since the object moves so fast. I definitely think that could be a possibility. Alternatively, could it be something more nefarious? Like something tampering with their car? Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. Not all of us want to be detectives in this scary case, but sometimes the job is forced on us. YouTube team exploring with Angelo ends up on the trail of a possible life taker with this rando nautica gone wrong. It takes the crew to this creepy forest where they see a light amongst the trees. The light grows brighter and gets closer. The beam of light flickers in the darkness, and then they capture what's holding it. Using night vision, they get a close shot of the figure as it continues in its mission. After the figure leaves, they follow its footprints in the snow and they encounter him yet again from a distance. Uh, see anything? Yeah, they're right there. As they get closer, they smell a strong stench. Smell? I don't know. You smell that? Yeah. One YouTuber points out another light beam from behind them later, as they're reading this note. Senior position in our new Arizona community. Which makes sense. Uh, Do you remember that letter that we found? This is the... We were in Arizona and it was talking about a new commune or something. I... okay, yes, yeah, smell it. Does the beam belong to that strange figure? Later, as they're walking, they hear a scream in the night. I don't know what any of this means. I'm not sure if it means losing your life, but I would have to go and check the area again because it looks to me like the figure was burying something, but I'd definitely do that in the daylight. When you hear footsteps in a place like this, run. YouTube team, Three Spires Paranormal, have left a steady cam recording inside this haunted property, and this is what it captures. Here it is, louder this time. But it's not just ghosts that these guys have to worry about. Hello? 
sorry. Are you off your ghosts? Well, we're just leaving. Right, okay, nice one, yeah? Yeah, sorry about that. I don't want to throw the torch at you, mate. No, that's right, that's right. Luckily, this encounter ends with positive vibes, but to me, it's a reminder that one should be sure they're not trespassing, even if the place is a hollowed out ghost haunt. While exploring this haunted house, the YouTube team from Dark Arts TV is being followed. Come into this room. Footsteps coming in. Come into the room, come on, you. They hear the sound of a voice, either a woman's voice or a baby's. Do you want to sound like to me that? It's like, like either baby, baby sound. Later in another room, something is moving next door. No, 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 no. Someone just moved in there. Where do you want us to go to? In yet another room, they hear more footsteps and a woman's voice again. <laughs> they continue their investigation and hear something walking across glass in a different room. Try the energy and make a loud sound. Oh, can you come down this corridor as fast as possible? Walk down it, into this room. I heard it too, and I also hear a growl here, which the team doesn't appear to hear in the moment. Judging by all this evidence, there's clearly something malevolent in this building, and it seems to be stalking them. I only hope they can shake whatever it is off when they leave this place. Ohio's most haunted house is aptly known as Shadow Man Manor. Stephen Dillon from YouTube channel Haunted Nights head to the 19th century home to investigate. They request some communication, and the spirits oblige. Yeah. A little later, they hear a humming noise. You hear that? I can tell what that was. Yeah. Can't tell where it came from though. Hello? Then, while they're listening back to a recording, they hear a thud live. Yeah. You didn't hear that thud? Like in this room over here? I couldn't tell where it came from. There was a lot of movement though. I thought it was to my right. A lot of movement. Down in the basement, another unexplained bang is followed by a disembodied voice. That was like a voice. Do you know what year it is? Is it 2023 for you? The activity in this house is subtle but chilling. I wouldn't want to pull an overnighter in this haunted place. You never know what might attach itself to you here. This haunted castle's history includes many lives lost of resistance fighters during World War II, and that history is making the YouTube team, Project 51, sick to their stomachs. <laughs> C'est un animal ou c'est on dirait on tape Non, c'est un animal Je pense que c'est un animal, ouais. Putain, mais c'est ouf. On aurait dit quelqu'un qui marchait avec des sabots. Écoute, les bruits bizarres, les aboiements bizarres. Ouais. They hear some knocks, but they think it sounds like someone walking with hooves. Later, David becomes inexplicably unwell. <coughs> ah, il y a David qui va pas bien du tout, les amis. Oh putain, ça va pas, David. <coughs> tu veux qu'on continue, David he tries to continue, but immediately feels sick again. David, on arrête, hein? Ça sert à rien de continuer si t'es pas bien. Whatever is in this castle is not sitting well with David. 
I'm no doctor, but I'm willing to bet that his reaction was caused entirely by the evil in this place. After having a bout of inactivity in their very haunted house, YouTubers Laney and Ben are back with new poltergeist interactions. They perform a ritual to try and contact their known poltergeists, and their poltergeists appear to oblige. Well, kind of. Can you manipulate the light on this candle, the flame? Can you make the K2, this is the K2 meter, can you make that flash? The spirit doesn't follow directions. Can you do that again, David? Can you do the K2 again? <laughs> Long time no speak, poor Dave. Laney and Ben have previously discovered one of their poltergeists is named David. Listen closely as David speaks through a spirit app. That sounded like the spirit said David to me. He's confirming he's there, but what does he want? It looks to me like Laney and Ben will have to dig deeper to find out. Shared to the Chills Narrator subreddit by 24-7 Top, this redditor wrote, While talking in my sleep, I say what sounds like, Where's some matches? And a demonic sounding reply sounds like, In kitchen. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. I certainly hear the voice he's talking about. It's very deep, but if you listen closely, it does sound like something responds to his sleep talk. Given the eerie nature of the question and the response, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable sleeping in this place anymore, especially considering whatever responded to him seems to have fire on its mind. While doing a spirit box session inside this century-old house, a ghost shuts the door on this conversation. YouTuber the one and only League shares this creepy footage. The ghoul changes its mind, deciding to let us in after all. They continue the session, and it happens again. Yo, it's doing it right now! Yo, it just moved, what the heck? Unfortunately, the camera is turned too far to the left for viewers to see it fully closing the second time, but we do see the beginnings of the close. I have to say, this compelling paranormal evidence would inspire me to dig deeper into the history of this haunted home. I'm sure there's something to this activity. We've all seen some creepy things found during Randonautica outings, but sometimes the scariest part of Randonautica is the unnerving feeling of being watched, YouTuber Ange Bona TV discovers a series of creepy items on his venture into the woods, but it's not the items that have put him on edge. Before long, he hears something. There's somebody talking. It sounds like it's coming from down there. Is someone watching him? It sounds like it's all the way down there though, so... Okay, probably nothing to you, uh... Oh. Something's moving around in here. He continues on, but senses that he's being followed. Sounds like that laughing is getting closer. I honestly don't think it's a cause for concern. Although Angelo doesn't encounter anyone on the rest of his Randonautica, I do feel as though someone was very nearby. If I were him, I wouldn't be doing another Randonautica for a while. He shouldn't press his luck. <laughs> 
Back in the 18th century, several dozen witnesses encountered a fabled spectral army on the Souther Fall in the UK. YouTuber Black Craig camps out here on Midsummer's Eve to see if he can become a modern witness. After keeping watch to no avail, he's walking back to camp to get some sleep when this happens. What the f oh, what the? F There's a block stood next to my tent. There. I'm dying to know what he saw, or who he saw. Was it the ghost army? Right there. <sighs> Fins is oblivious to play for you. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way I'm staying here tonight. No way. I'd be out of there too. What living being wants to battle it out with Spectre Warriors? Your odds of winning are next to none. At around 5 a.m., Redditor SEC126's security camera captures what appears to be a spooky apparition. See for yourself. It looks like a ghostly shape shifts into view. The Redditor says the motion sensor was triggered by this. Redditors in the comments share their theories. While some do think it's a full body apparition passing by, I don't think the video is clear enough or long enough to tell for sure. Is this abandoned farmhouse haunted? That's what YouTube crew, Is It Haunted, is here to find out. Night, me and Becky are on the zone. And we're in this like mega cool old farmhouse, aren't we? Yeah. It's pretty empty, pretty void of any belongings or anything like that, but it's very, very they get responses on a spirit box and other EVPs. Come to talk to any spirit energy tonight. <laughs> Then a ball moves at the top of the stairs, followed by a tapping noise. Yeah, it's definitely got the heebie-jeebie feel. During another spirit box session, they receive an evil message. Then they capture a series of noises upstairs. You want Becky to go upstairs? So is this farmhouse haunted? I think they got their answer. In a dark and dreary graveyard, Franco of the YouTube channel Franco TV encounters a demon, or what he thinks may be one. Early on, he sees figures creeping around the cemetery in the darkness. Are they grave robbers or adventurers just like him? Franco continues through the graveyard. Making my way towards the church. So far, still no sign of anyone. Not gonna lie, I thought that was a person right there. But soon he thinks he sees someone for real. Hola. Hola. Did you see that? Something was peeking at him from around the corner. Hola? I'll let Franco tell you what he saw. That was freaking horrifying. I literally just seen something just staring at me through the wall as I'm making my way out of here. But maybe his eyes are just playing tricks on him. Is that a person? Oh, that's just a rock. Although they may be in this case, I definitely saw something earlier, peering from around the pillar. But was it a demon? Or a friendly phantom? This is one of the most haunted places in the UK, and an aggressive entity called the Black Monk is said to be its resident ghost. YouTube team KJ Hauntings spends the night here, and they find the Black Monk is up to no good. At one point, they hear someone or something crying. Oh. 
The cry is heard after an earlier noise that also sounds like a cry to me. And those are not the only creepy sounds they hear. They also hear disturbing bangs and bumps, like this one. And this one. Judging by the terrible cries and odd bangs, I think something nefarious is going on here. And if they don't get out of here, soon they will be next. If your apartment is this haunted, it's time to pack up and leave. This creepy investigation by YouTuber Seeker of Ghosts reveals some extreme poltergeist activity. It starts with the chimes. Then the poltergeist moves on to this cup. A moment later, a stool moves. Later, the TV turns on by itself. This is shortly followed by the kitchen door closing on its own. Apparently, this ghost doesn't know if he wants in or out. It's not clear what decision he eventually made, but it's clear to me that this place is really haunted. And the result is this scary video that I wish wasn't so scary. When you play games with the devil, you're gonna get burned. YouTube team Taboo Paranormal are attempting to interact with a demon. And as they perform a blindfold ritual, the demon is revealed. Watch closely while Nastya sits patiently waiting. Did you see it? A black mist moves past behind Nastya. No one is in the room with her, so I don't think that was a shadow being cast by something off screen. I believe that was pure evil behind Nastya, and I'm sure it was closer than she knows to attaching itself to her. Ever have that feeling that someone else is here? YouTuber exploring with Joe has. I'll let him explain. Hi guys, got an experiment today. I used the SLS the other day, and there was a figure lying on the settee. So I'm going to do a little bit of an investigation just to see if there's anything in my house. As he speaks to the spirits via the spirit box, his K2 spikes. Can you say Jean, Jean for me if you are Jean? Jean is here. Joe gets double confirmation. Is, is this Jean I'm talking to? With the investigation complete, one question remains, is Jean a good spirit or an evil one? I suppose that would depend on what weird stuff the spirit has been up to in Joe's house. I'd keep a watchful eye on things if I was him. Is this paranormal activity or just a breeze? YouTuber Crossing Guard Paranormal is investigating the May Stringer house in Florida, and as he's speaking to a spirit, it appears to breeze right on past him. Well, that was a full sentence answer, my friend. Thank you so very much. My friend, is there anything that I can do to help you this evening? Did the air conditioning just turn on, or is that a spirit? Is there anything that I can do to help you this evening? 
I feel like this movement is too much to be a breeze. I believe there's a ghost within our midst. Welcome to Octagon Hall in Franklin, Kentucky. Built in 1862, it still stands today, and it's reputed to be haunted by its history. YouTube channel Hauntings with Hodge explores this unusual dwelling, and as they set up their paranormal devices, they start going off like crazy. On the top of the steps? Upstairs? Yeah. It's There's someone on the top of the steps. What the f was that? What was Did you it? hear that? Yeah. That was like a group. Later, they get a message from Harriet on their recording device. Yeah, it is. Harriet was the name of one of the home's residents. As the team talks about the recording, Harriet confirms her presence once more. It's like, I think it was like, my name's Harriet. Uh, yeah, like, I she's think... trying to get it out. Here. Oh, here. Oh, here. Oh. Thank you. Is Harriet truly here? I believe she is. And I don't, for a second, believe she's a good spirit. A place where children were used as objects of experimentation by a madman? How could this asylum not be haunted? YouTube team The Paranormal Patch visit the Desjarnet Children's Asylum, one of the worst in medical history. As they begin their investigation, they catch a disembodied voice on camera. They continue their search of the place, and around 3 a.m., the witching hour, they see a dark shadow. Deciding there's nothing there, they continue on, and while on an empty floor, Kaylee starts feeling scratches on her neck. Let's, let's look at it, because sometimes it'll get redder and redder. Where is it at? Point it out. Is it red? That's where I felt it. There is a deep scratch on her neck, but as the team is worried about the spirits coming to haunt them, it's the living they should be worried about. While Kaylee keeps insisting the noises are a bat, I'm pretty sure people are squatting in this place. Or maybe it's the madman, Dr. Desjarnet, coming for them. Either way, that genuinely freaked me out. YouTuber Hassan Barbar is dealing with a very aggressive gin in this scary video. First, he hears it hissing. <gasps> He pursues the djinn throughout the abandoned place, but it manages to keep just out of sight. <laughs> but he's painfully close. <laughs> there is sound around every turn. But as of yet, no sign of him, that is, until... He gets closer and closer to it, until it vanishes. Dad, 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 
Where did the gin go? Wherever it went, I hope it didn't take our souls with it. Well, in Jamaica, YouTuber Kalani Ghost Hunter woke up with the feeling that someone was watching him, so he decided to test this feeling. Anybody there? Can you make one of the lights flash? Oh, what the f No way! Um, I think that's a clear yes. Is anybody there? Can you make one of the lights flash? Or Oh. Some say the ghosts in Jamaica are particularly cruel and dangerous. If I were Kalani, I'd watch my back. Does YouTuber Mo Sarchi have a demon fire starter on his hands? Watch as he tries to communicate with the demon in his haunted abandoned house. What are you, a demon? Did you see that? Keep an eye on the top of the screen near the doorway. It looks like something is manifesting from the ground. What are you, a demon? What are you, a demon? Then this happens. Did I just see that thing move? Yes, you did, Mo. Mo heads upstairs to check on things a while later, but hears the REM pod go off, and then he finds this. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! What the f just happened? Oh my god. As Mo examines the remnants, he hears another unexplained sound. Look at that, guys. The bottle broke. <gasps> what the f is that? I'm pretty sure that was the demon, and by the sounds of it, he's sick of Moe's shenanigans. You don't want to hear this whisper at the Whispers Estate. The YouTube channel Crossing Art Paranormal was visiting the haunted Indiana estate when this happened. The angry EVP sounds like it's saying, get out. But the team doesn't listen. This is the end of the clip, so I don't know for certain if they'll live to regret it. All I know for sure is, I'm going to stay far away from this haunted estate. Can you call forth a genie with a few words? YouTuber Barack Dogan Paranormal suggests that's what's happening here. Watch as the chanter brings a flame to life. He then puts it out with a word. Does this man have the power? A closer look makes me think the flame is superimposed onto the tray. So is this just an editorial trick? Or are we looking at real evil magic here? It's up to you to decide. A broadcast of devastating weather in Peru captured something unusual. TikToker PG Stories Official shares this footage of a mysterious creature lurking in the debris. This was taken in Santa Domenico. Watch closely as the camera pans around. A strange figure is lurking just out of sight. The figure crouches down further when it is seen. What is this thing? Its arms look irregularly elongated, but it's otherwise hard to make out its features. Is it a creature that only appears in bad weather?
If the footage was a little clearer, I might have a better idea. But for now, I'm going to say it's the love child of a rake, man-shade, spirit ghoul. Don't go into the forest. The YouTube team Haunted Finders does just that in this scary footage, and they're lucky to leave with their lives. After entering the haunted Shearwood Forest, they hear something that chills them to the core. Now, what was that? Listen, listen. Quiet, quiet. Don't move. The team thinks it may be a wild animal. We had that before, remember? What is it? Listen. Is it a... What's that? Is it a fox? That's not a fox. It's getting closer. That's a woman screaming. It's getting closer. But eventually, they decide it's human. When they change their mind again, their ghost app tells them they're wrong. Getting uh. flipping at? Or what? That's not a fox. So what else flipping screams like a woman? Wrong. What? Says so wrong. Wrong. Are they wrong that it's an animal? Or that it's human? Or maybe it's neither? Personally, I think it could be a skinwalker. What terrible creature lies in this empty field? YouTube channel Wokaya Ra's High Official may have the answer. Captured in the darkness of night, this creepy creature looks like a thing of nightmares. Seeing it from a distance, it could be anything, even just a black garbage bag. But as they approach, they find that was wishful thinking. The thing is moving. As they wonder what this creature could be, it gets too close for comfort. I guess we'll never know for sure what that was. So do you agree with the title of the video saying that it's a black snake devil? Sometimes paranormal investigators get into the biz because they've experienced their own hauntings. That's true of the YouTube team. The New Reality Paranormal, who are investigating Sean's haunted home in this scary video. While listening closely in the home, they hear a strange EVP. Did you, what? What was that? That, that, was, that was something outside. The voice is indiscernible, but it's there. Later, they again hear a disembodied voice. So again, we're gonna add another piece of equipment. Did, did you just say something? Did, did you just say something? Uh, add another piece of equipment. Right before, nah, uh, dude, I just, I just heard a hey. But one of the creepiest captures is during a spirit box session when this woman's voice comes through. He'll catch us. It sounds like she's saying, don't leave me. I would feel sorry for her if she didn't sound so spooky. I'd leave here ASAP. Sorry, not sorry. Gather around this haunted and abandoned cabin in the woods. It has some ghost stories to tell. Debbie from YouTube channel, Spectral Researchers, Spirit Talkers, shares this video of their investigation of this mysterious place. Using a Kinect device, Debbie greets her first specters. I really would look. Oh, hello there. Hello, two of you. Well, hi. Very pleased to meet you. My name is Debbie. Please excuse my intrusion in your home. The figures remain visible for several minutes. No man in your home. I just want to talk to you and let you know that you're not forgotten. One of the figures comes and goes. The little one seems to be doing flips or something. It's all over the place. Hello. Can you tell me what year you moved into this house? Then they both leave, but one is coaxed back. I saw you come back then. What were you growing in that shed? Is that you growing something? 
open. In no other room in the house does Debbie capture any figures on the connect. It seems to me that they congregate here for some reason. If I had to guess, I think it's either where they passed away or is their favorite spot in the cabin. Dating back to the 15th century, Skate Cliff Hall is a haunted hotel in the UK. The YouTube team, Ghosts on Trent, enters the historic hall to test the waters, and they shouldn't have. Well, we can expect some paranormal activity on an investigation. Here's something scary we don't expect. I'm hearing a few little squeaks, different squeaks. <laughs> Oh. Right. In these old buildings, it's actually surprising we don't see this type of thing more often. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Right, time to go. Stay still. Luckily, Paul was not badly hurt, but it could have been much worse. As the team says, this experience has forever changed how they approach abandoned buildings. Security footage caught a lone shopping cart roaming the store on its own after hours. YouTube channel Behind a Side shares this paranormal phenomena. At first, I thought it was simply on a roll, but then it took that sharp right. Nope, that's definitely a mystery shopper. And to me, the greatest mystery is what's in that ghost's cart. After moving recently, Redditor KeyRecord8141 writes that this started happening again. Just watch. Something appears to be tugging on the Redditor's blanket while they sleep. Is it an entity? Some in the comments think there's a logical explanation. I agree, it's probably not Restless Leg Syndrome. Unless there's a fan in the room, I think something unseen wants to give this Redditor insomnia. According to YouTuber Alberto Del Arco, even God has abandoned this church. He and his crew visit there, and they find a mysterious document that he's trying to piece together. But as he does, someone is watching over him. Más luz, por favor. Oh, no manches. ¿Qué? Hey, wey. Acabo de ver a alguien arriba. ¿Dónde arriba? Allá. En arriba, sí, en el segundo. En el coro. Sí, sí, sí. Pareciera que hay alguien, güey. Creo que lo tengo aquí. Hay alguien ahí. Hola. Does this figure not want them putting the pieces of the puzzle together, or was there even anyone there at all? Más luz, por favor. Oh, no manches. ¿Qué? Hey, wey. Acabo de ver a alguien arriba. It does look like there's a momentary shadow up there, but I can't really tell if it's a figure or just a shift in the light. Más luz, por favor. Oh, no manches. ¿Qué? Hey, wey. Acabo de ver a alguien arriba. What do you see? Although I can't say I'm positive, I hope this pseudo figure is part of this mystery in the making. YouTuber Ali H faces off with a demon in his haunted house, but first he is confronted with a Halloween ghost. Oh my That scared the 
Who is that? I'm not afraid of you. It turns out to be a shirt hanging over the railing, but that doesn't mean a real phantom isn't here. As he continues his search, his eyes are playing tricks on him. Who was that? Am I crazy? I think I might be crazy. Is he crazy? Maybe, maybe not. I cut. Oh. Something just grabbed my shoulder. Nope. Something grabbed my shoulder. Why am I going back in here? Nope. Something touched Ali, and it's leaving him frightened. Something grabbed my shoulder. What was that? Like I know what it was, but why did it not want me in there, bro? The way the the laundry and stuff is stacked is scaring the shit out of me. But after all of this, one of the strangest things in this video was noticed by YouTuber Rita's8569 in the comments. In the middle of his search, Ali is in the kitchen, and you can clearly see a shadow walk past in the reflection of the dishwasher. There's a one with my salt. Is it you? Did you do this? Hey! What the? Did you see it? That, to me, is the most bizarre part of this video. It proves that something is in the house with him, and it's closer than he thinks. Some jinn like to cause chaos, others apparently like to chill. YouTuber Aciduology shares footage of this one, who seems to be of the latter category. I was unable to track down the original source of this video. The djinn sits in a corner smiling, if you can call it a smile. Many in the comments think this is a man in a gorilla suit, but I think it's an exhausted djinn. Look at that face. You can tell he's tired from all the mayhem he's caused. Upon entering a haunted place, oftentimes you know you're not welcome. That's what happened to the YouTube team, Dref David TV, when they entered this haunt. Something is thrown down the stairs at the team. You can tell it didn't fall, it was thrown. <laughs> Although we can't see what threw this object, I'd take this as a sign that this spirit is a Grinch. What do you make of this terrifying creature? Shared by YouTuber. Johnny Reyes Reyes, this image is trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The demon-like creature at the center of this mysterious image somehow also looks slightly reptilian. It appears to have webbed feet and a tail. Using reverse image search, I scoured for the original source but didn't arrive at any leads. Do you know this demon? If you do, please share in the comments. I've got to hear his creepy backstory. This poltergeist activity is insane, perhaps literally. Captured at a haunted asylum, TikToker Louis D Vlog shares this video of a poltergeist encounter. It starts with a scare. I told this yesterday. Ooh, yeah, what was that? And the fear grows with this EVP. Throw that chair. No. Is there a chair? Is there a chair? Is there a chair there, bro? Hey, the EVP says, throw that chair. A second EVP makes things far spookier. Oh my no! Are children causing mayhem here? They seem to respond to the team's demands. Slam that door right now. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if children's spirits would be this angry, but whether young or old, the aggression is clear. The Great Salt Air in Salt Lake City is full of secrets. YouTube team Broken Wings Paranormal joins forces with Cold Spot Paranormal and discovers a giant figure is lurking in this spooky place. Is he dancing? Can you raise your arm? Like this? Wave high? Hand up? They capture the figure on the Kinect device in a dark room. Is it a giant? Look how huge that is. I know. Can you bend over and touch your toes? It's growing. Its head is like almost off the screen on the little side. Josh tries to reach out and touch it, and he feels something supernatural. No, but I feel tinglies on my fingertips. Stand up and let's see what happens. Oh, look at it leaning the other way. It's like it's propping itself up with its elbow. As Josh gets closer, the entity disappears. Where he is. Oh, oh he left. You put your arm on it now. You touched him and he left. And he just... Really? Yeah, the okay. minute you make contact. In a surprising turn of events, it looks like the ghost got frightened by the living. It seems to me that Josh entered the spirit's personal space, and they didn't like it at all. After purchasing a haunted antique, YouTuber Kelsey Davies is attempting to communicate with whatever possesses it. The creepy statue seems to have captured Kelsey's imagination, or maybe her soul. The statue just even looks really, really sad too. So I had a dream. I don't know, it was as if he was just calling me back to him. It was so interesting. Through dousing rods, the statue confirms that it's okay to be called Santa, but according to the spirit box, he preferred to be called a meal. Santo a good nickname for you? Okay, so he's fine with being called that for now. I heard something a meal or something. Kelsey seems to crack the case as to why the doll is possessed. Did one of your children pass away from an illness? Yes. What if that's why? Maybe he Maybe wasn't able to afford proper medical care? And they passed away. Does the soul possessing this doll have some regrets? Was he not able to help his ill daughter? I think this may be why he can't cross over. And if that's the reason, then he's probably in good company. YouTuber Ali H is trapped by a demon in his very haunted house. Using a spirit app, he attempts to communicate. Come on, give us an answer. They mean you hard. Oh my They mean you hard. What the f And then, a moment later, what the f It means us harm. And now. The record player is playing. You're okay, Max. The record player starts playing on its own. Later, while reviewing the footage with his partner Emma, they notice a glitch in the video. You see that? What the f was that? In the evening, Ali is brushing his teeth when the lights start to flicker again. That, that is what we're dealing with right now. Just brush my teeth, and that started happening. I don't think Ali is ever going to get rid of this demon. He let the evil in, and now it's made its home here.